Content warning. Ladies and gentlemen, the following podcast is not suitable for all audiences, and viewer slash listener discretion is advised. For example, if, when you just heard the term ladies and gentlemen, you immediately thought about how exclusionary it is, then it's probably best you turn this off now. Can I just say that the way he wanks freaks me out? Yeah, Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Everyone's got their own technique. Looks like I don't a, like that though. It looks like he's. Um... It looks like an ostrich is attacking his dick. <laughs> <laughs> like Rod Hull. Yeah, I read this yeah, yeah. Rod Hull. I don't like it. No, Emu. No. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Dead Man Talking with me, Rommel Holland, and him, a portly cunt. Oh, okay. I went portly today. And you said uh, the C word yeah. with an A in it. Why, so why aren't we... we saying cunt? Are you trying to get us not demonetized? Uh, cunt, 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 cunt. I want to enunciate it just no, to make no, sure they're No, no, it's absolutely it. fine. I cunt. think you've done the job. Cunt. Right, okay. Yeah, so there it's... we go. No money for us. No <laughs> money for us. Great. It's not like we have to pay for anything, is it, you <laughs> fucking weapon? It's so self-sabotaging. Like, I really find... The problem is, I find it very funny that it's costing me money to say cunt every time we are both in the 100 meters and you are tying both of our shoelaces together yeah because it makes me laugh watching you fall over even though i also lose yeah 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 Yeah. Yeah. so there you go uh so you know we aren't making any money off youtube ads so if you could join our patreon that'd be great that would be good thank you ever so much because rob is a self-sabotaging lunatic or a self-sabotaging cunt if you will cunt Uh, cunt 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 So, this week we have got Dean and Amy from the Mild High Club Yeah, podcast. it's a sick episode. We're recording this intro after we've done it, so we know it's good. It's very funny, isn't it? It was a very funny episode. It was loads of fun. Uh, they're good. Enjoy them. Like, get on their podcast, Mild High. Yeah, I don't know why I'm holding this Red Bull like it's precious to me. I know, it's really like... I'm going to crack it open uh, because we're going to record a Patreon after this. Yeah, we are. And I'm very tired and yeah. I'm going to drink the whole thing. And All right, just you're gonna, gonna have... let's start the episode. All right, we'll do it in a minute after this intro. Yeah. Skull the whole thing. Let's fucking go. Let's smash it on your head. Fucking lead. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, in the meantime, uh, sign up to our Patreon when you do that. If you want to send us in a video, it's WhatsApp 07520644931. And the uh, the Patreon uh, link is uh, patreon.com forward slash deadmentalkpod. That is it. That is very important. Sure. Enjoy the episode. Yeah, fucking get on it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hey. We're here with Dean and Amy, a.k.a. the Mild High Club. How are yeah. you doing, guys? Yeah, good, good, man. It's lovely to be here. Lovely studio, yeah. guys. Thank you very much. Thank you very Amazing. much. It. it took me countless hours. <laughs> I'm yeah. sitting on his ass doing fucking nothing. Oh, yeah. you, you've did been you sat there that all morning. Did you do that the room, Fredda? <laughs> you did over there. That's all you, that, it took, it? <laughs> it took me countless hours in the way that you can't count how many hours I put in. <laughs> because I didn't zero. put any yeah. hours yeah. in. Yeah. Can't count zero. It's a negative number. So that's technically an accurate statement. Technically, yes. Yeah. Very technically, yeah. You've not put that backlight on. All right. No. Oh, fucking yeah, I've ruined it, have I? You could have done that. You could have done that. I, I, honestly, I can't believe it. I, I give him one job. I, I give him one job to do, and he hasn't managed to do it properly. To be fair, the tall jobs, they should be for Rob. What light? Yeah, problem solved. He yeah. ran out of battery. I haven't plugged it in. Oh, yet. Okay, I'll sort Why didn't you plug it in, Freddie? Yeah. Well, I gave that uh, specific job to Rob. Oh, it's because it's too high up, and the one time I made him like help me with a thing was out on this pole up, and he nearly yeah. cracked the footstool. Oh. It genuinely started <laughs> yeah. cracking, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, it cracked. Yeah. <laughs> That's not good, that. But it was yeah. a tiny little plastic footstool. It yeah, wasn't so like... It's made for supporting humans. It yeah. wasn't like it was it was a... <laughs> wasn't a dollhouse one, was yeah, it? Like, yeah, yeah. Fucking... Like, I've stood on it loads of times, yeah. and I weigh like 16 stone. I'm not little. Yeah, yeah. but I weigh more than you. Yes, you do. Yes. So they're more condensed, aren't you? More yeah. exactly. Like dark matter. <laughs> <laughs> More of a neutron star of a human <laughs> yeah, being. Yeah. And he yeah. sucks off everything around him. Slag of a constellation. Yeah. Just loves the calories in cum. Oh. There isn't actually that many calories in cum, is yeah, there? Disappointing, that, is it? There probably is in your cum. <laughs> yeah. <You> reckon- <laughs> I think it depends who's yeah. calling I reckon it. if he jizzed into like some hot oil, you can make Yorkshire puddings with this. <laughs> <laughs> so one of these will try that for you. I reckon Naked Martin will try that for you. Oh, no, Naked Martin has fried his own cum. <gasps> like, that's one of his videos. Yeah, what he fried. Happens? Not much. He was a bit disappointed. Oh, I think he needed it, it on a higher heat he, to crisp yeah. it. He said that it tasted like popcorn. 
Yeah. That's all right, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that was his thing. But like, Naked Martin is not a man who's averse to eating a bit of cum. Like, it, it wasn't his first rodeo. Yeah. Yeah, right, yeah, you yeah. Know, In so, fact, mm. one of his early videos, the cum sandwich one, yeah. I had such a difficult time watching yeah. that. Have you not eaten cum? N- no. I mean, I've accidentally no. got a bit in my gob before. Yeah. Like, um, yeah, like... Cause like when Yours I was in, or someone else's? Mine. Okay. Right. Yeah, he was. Uh, he yawned during Pride. Please tell me that was a seagull. Please <laughs> tell me that was a seagull. <laughs> He's dressed as a seagull. I don't know. He identifies as a seagull, but I don't know if it was a... No, I was like, uh, so I, I was on my back with a girl on top of me, mm. uh, and she went up a bit high, and like I flopped out as a gist, Ooh. and it flopped out onto my belly, and like it was. I was in my early twenties. So I was still going with quite a lot of velocity. A bit of PSI, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. mate. So like, it was like a fucking leaking hot fire hydrant. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds a bit like a ruined orgasm as well. Though, a that. little bit, because I was a bit like, oh no, and then yeah, I just yeah. gave myself a facial. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that definitely ruins the yeah. orgasm. I've, I've never eaten cum. No, so, uh, <laughs> Thanks. Well, it can't get over your belly, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Just shoots up into that crevice there. You've got a little safety guard, haven't you? Yeah, you'd need some arc on that. Yeah, fuck me. You'd have to put it into orbit. I try, I try and just like Roberto Carlos taking a free kick. <laughs> try and just curve it round yeah. like that. Oh, Think about Brazil versus France. <laughs> Coupe de monde. Uh, <laughs> you know. So, yeah, I've got no idea where we actually are, though. We're in Horwich. Horwich. Okay. The only, Norwich, but with an H. The only gauge I've got is that I've seen a pub down the road. It's probably one of the worst entertainments ever. Oh, yeah. What, and the you, saddle. No, Rob was on. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's it about five minutes away. It's called, like, the poacher or something. Right. The and, poacher. Yeah, and yeah. the entertainment was a tribute act, which you know is bad straight away. Mm-hmm. But he was a tribute doing a character off Benidorm. Oh, oh wow. God. How shit an impressions have you got so to be for like, that? Which one? Oh, like Ke- is there someone called Kenneth I or something? Know, or I don't know. I don't know why I asked. I, I know, know there's Johnny like... Vegas is in it, and then <laughs> yeah. I a bunch of other people. My mum likes Benidorm. But who's doing that? For, who's going for a night out? Going? Oh, we're gonna go watch a man pretend to be well, a man on Benidorm. Well, we are for a start. Yeah. <laughs> are we? Is that gonna yeah. be an next Patreon special? special? Do you know <laughs> what? Roast them. There is actually a pub literally just around the corner from here that I was meant to gig at on Friday. Oh yeah. They pulled the gig on the day, mm. and they said they'd pay everybody, and they haven't paid yet. So. Yeah. That's, That's a happening. dream. Not I give you, sometimes. I give you one week before I name you on the podcast. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, that'll, that'll really destroy them. <laughs> yeah, take them down, mate. Just see how they like getting Bernard Manning DVDs sent it's to. It's not them. a DVD, even, mate. We're, oh, we've got VHS. VHS over here. Yeah. Has it got yeah. any uh, reviews on the back or anything? I don't know. We, I haven't actually read the box. No. Uh, is there any 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 good reviews? Just, just says, great timing. That's what people always say about Bernard Manning, isn't it? Great it timing, says, and it was good timing to be around in the seventies when it was fine <laughs> to say that. <laughs> it just says Bernard Manning ungagged. Yeah. Do you want to? Uh, do, that's it. That's the only. Do quote. you hear my favourite Bernard Manning joke? I'm not sure I do. It's a, it's <laughs> I've got one. It's a, yeah. Right. This is my favourite. This is, weird, this is my favourite Bernard Manning joke. And I think that this is really funny. Okay. Right. Get, prepare to edit I hope this it's out. the same as mine. It's about two Yorkshiremen who are going on holiday in Spain. Not the same. Right. And they're in right. one of those fucking, you know, complexes, hotel type shit. You, you know, those like little. Com- everyone's a hotel. got a villa yeah. shit. Yeah. No, everyone's got a villa shit. Do you know what I mean? They shoot your eyes. And they're it's un- like he's back, isn't it? They're unpacking yeah. these. <laughs> 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 right, so they got that, you know, this like villa shit, right? They're unpacking these, uh, they're uh, these two Yorkshiremen. What, sorry? <laughs> they're what? Unpacking. Right, okay, oh, sorry. Yeah. It's a Bernie Manning joke. Yeah, I didn't know where we were. Yeah. Uh, and one of them says to the other, Gordon, we've forgotten Bisto. Are we supposed to make gravy if we've forgotten Bisto? He said, tell you what, that couple who just moved in next door, they look English. Knock on do it and ask them if they've got any Bisto. So Gordon goes around, knocks on door. <laughs> Englishman answers, he goes, that's the any bisto. He goes, fuck off, you Spanish cunt. <laughs> <laughs> That's that the any bisto. Yeah, that's, good that's a great that. joke. Yeah, that's yeah, a good yeah, joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Like, I'm not denying yeah. Bernard Manning had good jokes. He just also had a lot of like really hateful ones in it. Yeah. 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 No one's perfect. Is it hateful so- if you're laughing? <laughs> what can be? Yeah, we've what? proved it many times oh, on this okay. podcast. What's yeah, your thanks. favourite Bernie Manning joke? Um, it, I don't know if I can say mine now. Because uh, mine, mine involves an African man. Um, oh! Okay. He says uh, in the pub, an African fellow walked in with a parrot on his shoulder. 
And he goes, where the fuck did you get that? And he goes, Africa, there's fucking loads of them. And it was fucking, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was the parrot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. Yeah. Just, it was nice, I thought. You can cut that one out. I don't know if uh, it's nice. I don't know if nice is the right word. Talking parrot, I was young. I was 15, maybe. Yeah. Oh, really? That's yeah. too old for that, I think. For, too you know, old I was for young. What? You know, for the I was young defense. Do you know what? 15, you get yeah. tried as an adult in court, mate. Do you know what? Yeah. For yeah. Saying when a parrot I was... joke. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> so one of the very first jokes that I learned was a racist joke. Wasn't and everyone? Was, is, like is this, school, is this what we're doing now? We're just comparing our favourite racist jokes. Welcome to Dead Men Talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, one of the very first jokes. So it was yeah. my granddad told me this, and I must Jesus, have been. I bet your granddad had some great views. Mm. I mean, he's still alive. Is he? Yeah. Fucking up up now. someone in your family has lasted that long. <laughs> Again, every... is he a big fat cunt? Uh, no, he's. Ah, uh, go. he, go. he still goes swimming. He does about fifty lengths every day. And he's there about you 90. go. He does exercise, oh, right? Yeah. And then um, maybe that's and, the. Key. And during COVID, yeah, uh, he carried on doing the lens until the leisure center shut. And we're like, dude, you're like very old. You need to stop doing that. And he said, couldn't give a fuck. Yeah. That was yeah. it. He couldn't even say the word couldn't. That's couldn't. how little he gave a fuck. <laughs> yeah, couldn't couldn't, give, couldn't a give a fuck. Yeah. Sweet. Nice. Yeah. On your way. Uh, yeah, he used to be in the army. He used to box in the army as well. Yeah. Quite fit. Uh, anyway, this was his joke, right? Have you got he, a fat grandma then? He told me. What, sorry? Have you got a fat grandma? Where's this come from? <laughs> I started it. Right, okay, you're a pioneer in your family, are you? Yeah, 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 I'm... Yeah. I'm uh, what, what Breaking you new ground. Patient zero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for, for fat contitis. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's because that's what doctors do. They yeah. just call fat cunt and then they put itis at yeah. the end. 28 ways later. Oh, nice. Hey. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was, uh, yeah, no, it doesn't matter. I was going to say something about you saying his grandma was fat, and I was like, oh, it was probably his aunt Bessie. But you know, it's easy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I'm with you. I'm he, with you. It's just fat, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? If you carry on like this, guys, I'm not going to tell you my racist joke. I'll turn the podcast off, and we'll all go home. <laughs> You've really, really settled into the vibe I am, of the pod. Really I am quick. taking my racist joke, and I'm going home. How about that? Go on. Do you want to tell us your little racist? Is it yeah. is it proper bad? Uh, it's not proper bad, but I'm just telling you. <laughs> This is this is one of the and I didn't know what it meant because I was seven years old. My no. granddad told it me, and I was telling everybody at school. Oh Jesus! Right, uh, are why... you going for it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is, is everyone else as tense as me? I'm quite okay. relaxed. Uh, so, so this, it's not your podcast, I suppose. No, yeah. no, no, because I'm not. I'm not saying that it's. I'm not like, hey, I've just got a great new job. I'm it's just saying yeah. this is a new and, and this is like where you know you come from, so you learn this at an early age. Why is this weird? No, I, I've got something to add on to right. the end of this. Great. So. This is the joke. Why did the Romans build straight roads? I don't know. So Pakistanis couldn't build corner shops. Right. I have heard that, actually. That, that was that, that was one of the first jokes I is was that, ever Is told. that exactly how it was phrased when you heard it? I'm trying so hard not to laugh right now. No, no, no. no, no literally, <laughs> that's what he said. I mean, there was, I think a word in there was probably shortened. Mm. Uh so's instead of so as right yeah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what i was gonna say is like you know in, in like you say you heard that in school or what or you told yeah. everyone in school yeah. but like i know loads of horrible jokes from like what feels like primary school age primary school, yeah, yeah. yeah. And like where did they come words. from who, yeah. who wrote yeah. them and like well, you don't know when you were get a kid into school? Like, like i didn't yeah. know as a child that that was really horrible yeah, yeah like i, I didn't even it, understand yeah, the it bit. was just it was just like and that that was just like the words for things when i was a kid on my estate it was like you know like uh like you know they weren't called the child Chinese takeaway yeah, and like yeah. the corner shop, you mm. know, yeah. like that, that just that's not how anyone referred to them. Yeah. And it was just like I just thought that was the name for shit until yeah, I was yeah. old. Yeah. I was like, ooh, well, I think as long as you... here's here's a thing. Yeah. There is a corner shop by uh Preston uh Deepdale, Preston Football Stadium, uh -huh. right? And my granddad used to take me on, and the corner shop is like a little Asian corner shop. And it's called Poppin' Ear and Byams, right? That's a great name for a yeah. shop. And I thought that it was called that because that was his name. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Poppin' Ear. But I honestly, no legitimately... Where's Byam? <laughs> Is he not working today? <laughs> oh, I, I honestly thought that was just his name oh. until I was about 15. Yeah. That's, That's wild. That's fucking ridiculous. Yeah. Pop in here and buy them. Jesus Christ. That's wild. Yeah. I know. Yeah. But yeah, racism was incredibly casual on my estate. Like, uh, yeah, like, I remember when I was a kid, like, I, I described, like, uh, to my mum, I was talking about Lucas Radabay. 
mm. and like I don't know who that is. I was a, a Leeds United legend, oh, okay. right? And like one of my heroes, yeah, like the Chief. Mm. Uh, is it? Is where the band the Kaiser Chiefs? South get, African. Yeah, it's where the Kaiser Chiefs get the name from. It's the club we signed them oh, from okay. in South Africa. It's called Kaiser Chiefs. Oh right, yeah, is but, it? Yeah, yeah, it's like, mad, isn't it? Yeah, they must be fuming that football team now that like they've got a. I don't know. I think it's a bit good for their branding Griffin. worldwide. I reckon you've like, got to play that though every time you go out onto the pitch. Yeah. Well, they do you've at Leeds got anyway. To, you've got to play. I predict a riot, haven't you? Yeah, and you've got yeah, to get yeah. into well, it. Well, they, they play I predict a riot at Ellen Road quite a lot, and I find it very ironic because it is it's quite a sneery song about the exact people who are bouncing around to mm. it. The whole song's like, ugh, man in a tracksuit. Moody's about it's it, all just yeah, like, yeah. ugh, look at these scum. It's basically the point of yeah. the song. Yeah. And then like at Ellen Road after a match, I was like, I predict a riot. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like it's about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. Was, but, I was trying to think. That was during a time, wasn't it, where there were lots of really shit songs that just were so catchy and so yeah. good to do that with your hands, yeah. like uh, da, 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 Chelsea Dagger, the fucking moron anthem. <laughs> Fratelli's fucking lived off that. Aren't they? Jesus Christ, what a shit band as well. I saw them at Leeds Fest once, and I just walked away two songs in. So I'm like, this is fucking shit yeah. and it was before like, I knew who they were they were on like the new band stage and then oh, suddenly yeah. they released that single and they were massive and I was like what I had a mad experience of that it, like the BBC introducing stage was it at yeah, Leeds yeah. There was, you know, sometimes they have like unlisted bands on and that yeah, yeah, yeah. there was one year and it was like the FFers and yeah. everyone was like that's the Foo Fighters yeah. the Foo Fighters are doing like a secret set so like like it, must, it felt like a thousand people yeah, turned yeah, up yeah, at yeah. this this uh, new act stage and it's like you can only fit about a hundred in there or something yeah, yeah. in it and then uh, everyone was like waiting for the Foo Fighters to come on. And next thing, this little band walked on. Uh, the FFers. The they were just called band. the FFers. Yeah. And everyone was like, who the fuck are you? They were like, we're the FFers. Uh, everyone started booing them and throwing <laughs> shit at them because they weren't the Foo Fighters. That's so funny. Because some yeah. stupid person was like, that's it. That's Do you know what fighters, as well? Man. is before that, they'll have been backstage God, and someone will have gone, there's quite a lot here to see you. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Mate, it must have been that tweet I put out. If this yeah. gig goes well, this could be the rest of your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. bottle off your head. Do, do you know what? I remember there was a comedian. It is before your time, probably maybe before your time, uh, right. called Rich uh, Rich Wall. No, no, Rich. I literally I was at a festival with Rich this weekend. Were you? Like last weekend I was at Beta with Rich. Yeah. Probably before yeah. your time. So, <laughs> very, very good friend of mine. <laughs> like, 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 yeah, uh, so, he he did. Uh, we didn't really overlap in comedy though. We're in the same group of mates, but he finished as I started. I basically tagged into that group of mates as he tagged out. That's that's, yeah, that's yeah. what he said. He said uh, the future comedy's here. I need to bow out. Bow out yeah. 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 Yeah, it's looking bleak. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, he was doing a gig, and this was back when he was like been doing comedy for a couple of years. Uh, you know, like fucking had 10 minutes, basically, mm. right? Got asked to headline this gig at a village hall for like 50 quid. And he was like, yeah, I'll do it. Everything about this sounds awful already. Like so village halls, pounds. Village so, halls yeah. are awful. And if you've got a 50 quid headliner, what's the rest of the bill? Well, mm. yeah. the promoter sold it out like that. Yeah, because it's a village, there's nothing else on. Mm. Not really. Do you think it was so someone else? They did. Who do you think it, they thought? Rich that... Hall. Yes. Oh, no. And he yeah. put it on the poster, Rich Hall. Oh, no. Oh, shit. <laughs> and then they turned up and rushed Rich Wall. <laughs> <laughs> that's brutal. Oh, yeah, that's heavy, that. Yeah. Like, uh, Michael Dolan. Do you remember? The, do you know the comedian Michael Dolan? Yeah. He, uh, he had a gig at Edinburgh where they thought they'd booked Mark Dolan. And like is the he t- the balls of steel dude? Yes. Okay, who's yeah. now like the I cut up a mask guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, yeah, they thought they put Mark Dolan. And apparently, they went to Michael just like, well, I guess you're gonna have to go on anyway. And he just left. <laughs> it's like, which is fair enough. Yeah, if they're yeah. going like, well, I guess you're gonna have to do it. Fuck off. Well, here to see me anyway. So yeah, see you later. also as well, you're booking two very different acts. There. Very different acts. Very different. I'm pretty sure Michael wore his mask the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh mate, when yeah. do you think we're gonna get asked to go on Joe Rogan? Mate, why aren't we on Joe Rogan? Come on, we, so, like, we can complain about stuff. Ah, oh, British comedy shit. There's no free speech. These, these dudes, are they comedians, are they? Trigonometry? Mm, yeah. Yes, well, uh, well, Francis is. Francis uh, is a, is an okay comedian. So for he's anyone who doesn't know, he's these dudes have just been on he's, Rogan, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, two guys yeah. from the UK. They both have a podcast called Trigonometry. Francis <laughs> is a mate of mine. Mm, it's right. very popular. Yeah. Uh, Francis is an okay uh, club comic. Yeah. Uh, Constantine is somebody who he's very never... good at arguing yeah oh, okay. Constantine never managed to um, 
become a professional comedian, yeah. but has got an awful lot of notoriety off the back of being, I would say, very savvy in how he markets himself. Yeah, he's very good at like PR and basically like he can turn anything into oh, an I've been cancelled complaint. Okay. You know, like he's really good at that. He plays yeah. the game very well. But, you know, he's a very smart lad. He's yeah. just, you know, also the, a bit annoying. They mm. went on Rogan and they did a thing they talked about British comedy extensively and like to be yeah. fair to them like fucking props we get on Rogan it's class you know well yeah, done yeah, massive, massive yeah. you know like... oh yeah I've said this on many occasions right people like to shit on Francis and Constantine and it is fun but <laughs> um, I find me anyone else who has exceeded the level of ability as much as those two have. That is fucking mm. fair. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. They've massively outperformed the talents that God gave them. Yeah. And genuinely... If they're, they're the Stuart Dallas of comedy. I don't if, know who Stuart Dallas if, is. If, if <laughs> it's a very good reference for people who know. <laughs> okay. right. There you go, I have that one. He's a footballer who through work rate sort of exceeded his talent. If, right. if okay. they're listening to this, I'm not having to do it them either. Mm. I, I actually yeah, yeah. think it's quite an impressive thing for you to not be very good... <laughs> Makes it more impressive. Or really <laughs> fucking succeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've almost succeeded in spite of yourself. It's mm. like if somebody with one leg won the London Marathon for normal people. Do you yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> is, that what, is that the full title of it, is it? <laughs> the London Marathon for normal yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you get it. You go, yeah, yeah. fuck, you won that and you've only got one leg. Mm. Well, Extra good on you. Yeah, I right, think okay. that's what the Logan, Paul Lo- Logan, Paul. <laughs> Paul <laughs> Logan. Hey, up and Paul Logan. <laughs> I think he booked the wrong guy again. Yeah, yeah. Hell. I think he's Paul on the Logan. dance team down the saddle. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever they're called. Yeah, yeah, because they're just nobodies really, and yeah, he's just yeah. very good at marketing. And he said, like doing the fights is just like a big cheat code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get so much money and publicity there. That yeah. Just smart. Isn't yeah, it? well, it is. And like, like with with Logan Paul, what he's done really smartly is Paul people. Paul Logan. Paul Logan. I apologise. <laughs> <laughs> people want to see him get smashed in the face, yeah, but he's yeah. actually quite good at boxing. For an amateur, yeah. he's very good. Well, that's the Mayweather like, program. Mm, yeah, he's, he's he's all right for an amateur. Mate, but like, to be fair, the way he knocked out Tyron Woodley was fucking good. Like, and Tyron Woodley is a, like a former UFC champion. He's not a boxer, obviously it's different, but he's a big hard lad, you know. Yeah, he's and he's it been was... hit before, isn't it? Like, yeah, yeah. So... And like he fuck like Logan Paul sat him down. Tommy, Jake Paul, you know, Tommy, Tommy Fury. Was it, no, Jake for Mayweather and like Logan's. The, I don't know. No, it might Logan be, oh, Jake Mayweather. Yeah, yeah. I don't give a fuck. Tommy, yeah, you know. yeah. Tommy Fury had sit him. Had, had well, had sit Tommy down. Fury's ducking him like he fuck. won't fight well, him. Yeah. Listen, yeah, he keeps ducking him. I'll yeah. tell you this. I bet there's a hundred amateur boxers in the UK in Logan Paul's weight category yeah, yeah. that would fucking fight. Oh, definitely. Yeah, but he's not going to do that. He's going to find people like no, Tommy know, Fury. But, but so to say yeah. he's a good amateur boxer, he's, he's not well, he's he's fight, quite the, good. The guy he's fighting now instead of Tommy Fury is a like a legit like amateur yeah, yeah. boxer, I think. Yeah, the, he's, he's actually a son of like an ex-professional now. boxer and that. Yeah, but... So he, this will be his, his biggest test. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's, here's the thing. I, I genuinely, genuinely believe that he is paying... Uh, Maybe off people yeah. to duck him. Boxing's I'm... probably one of the most corrupt sports as it oh, is. Yeah, so when I'm... when a YouTuber's getting involved and they go, I'll give you fifty but million I, to I, take yeah. it down. I think it's more that he picked his fights very smartly. Like fighting Ben Askren, like yeah, he's got a great MMA record, but he's shit at boxing. Can't do anything else. He's yeah. terrible. He's a wrestler, so he's terrible I'd, I'd at it. And he didn't try. Ben yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, I'd have a go. He's fucking that, awful. Yeah. Like, he didn't throw any punches <laughs> yeah. ever. In every like MMA fight, he just tried to take people down and wrestling. Yeah, yeah. So like, and he didn't even train. Like he was just that's, like. Yeah. That's honestly mm. why I believe that he's paying people off. Yeah. Because I still think that if you're Ben Askren, it doesn't matter. Oh, Askren was happy to take the yeah, sit down. Well, yeah. this is it. So the but thing Woodley's is, different. Woodley was just like, Woodley isn't like but, that. But the thing yeah. is, is every man has got his price. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? And it's it's like for comics. It's like, what price would you do a gig in front of a load of paedophiles? <laughs> I got uh, I, don't, I, I won't do Unleashed. I'm not doing so, comedy Unleashed. Like sorry, sorry, hold up. <laughs> you got propositioned by a paedophile? Yeah, they asked me to pretend to be 13. <laughs> wow. Do I, do I know him? Uh, it was on anonymously. Yeah. Oh, well, right, yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We, you don't it's attach like a profile picture Steve. to that request, do you? I was yeah. just seeing whether or not we're in the same Discord chat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't was, do it on LinkedIn, yeah. where you can see who's looking at your profile. <laughs> yeah. But it's weird, yeah. that, isn't it? It's the, like a loophole that they've found, where it's Just it's find young-looking women. But it's not. But yeah. it's, n- it's not. Well, there's right. loads of like look- porn where it's like you know they like put girls in like pigtails and they'll have like teddies and be on a bed oh, with yeah. like building blocks well, the around. The teen them and shit. thing is weird instantly, yeah. isn't it? Like, yeah, like- but they're dressing them like less than teens. Yeah, exactly. Teens try to dress older. Yeah. Yes. They're dressing them as like. Yeah, yeah. Before yeah, like, you yeah, watch yeah, like yeah. a teen porn, and it was just people dressed like they're trying to get saved. 
Yeah. You know, like a little fake moustache on Jacket from like, a charity shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to buy some alcohol. Yeah. And the woman's yeah. like, are you going to have to show me yeah. some more than that? Well, it's like, like a bucket hat. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. the way that every video starts is someone goes, have you got any ID? And they do that thing where they stop patting their pockets. Yeah. Ooh, you know, no you go, I showed you it last yeah, time. Yeah. Yeah. Have, yeah, I've got yeah. this, though. Yeah. <laughs> Start of porn, isn't yeah, it? Nice, yeah, yeah. Yeah, smooth. Mm. Anyway, what are you saying about... <laughs> about uh, trigonometry before we got sidetracked onto Paul Logan. Files and that. Yeah. Um, I literally can't even remember. All right, fuck it. Well, well done to them. Them being on Rogan. I didn't yeah. know. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't yeah, know they were on Rogan, on. right? So I was listening to it and they were talking about like the in- the comedy industry and stuff. And yeah, it's yeah. upset some people because mm. it's like, you guys aren't really the authority to talk about that in the way that you are yeah. pretending to be. Yeah. I've listened to about an hour of it and legitimately I had to turn it off. I found it so cringe. Really, yeah. I found it just really cringeworthy. Yeah. I just found it really... So there was a bit, right, where, right at the beginning, three minutes in, they get onto grooming gangs. Right. So they go from diversity to grooming gangs, yeah. and they talk about grooming gangs, which is obviously bad. And then they go, and, and that is why good di- source of income, though. Yeah. <laughs> and they go, <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and that is why diversity is a bad thing. And it's like, sorry, sorry, what? What yeah. you can't? I mean, you can't go grooming gangs are bad, so therefore diversity yeah, is. Yeah, no, bad. we only want British homegrown paedophiles. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's like it's not like we didn't have any pedos. It's just we put all ours on telly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's no there's no police officer sitting down and going, "Listen, bad news. Your daughter has been groomed and used by several men." <gasps> That's terrible. Asian men. <gasps> Do you know yeah, what yeah, yeah. 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 They were white. Oh, yeah. thank fuck. Oh, thank yeah. fuck. It's fine. If only yeah. the yeah. Romans yeah. were still here building those straight <laughs> roads. <laughs> Yeah. Oh shit. So how did you get proposition by a paedophile? Sorry, I feel like we slept on this. No, like I think like there there's definitely more in that. <laughs> it, it was just only fans like. Yeah. So. so you said can you pretend to be 13? 13. Yeah. How did he want you to pretend to be 13? Was I don't there like know. right was it I assume you shut it down there. I was scared. I was That's scared fair. that it was all a ruse <laughs> to get me or something. Oh wait, is it illegal for you to pretend to be 13? I don't know. I don't think I don't, it will be. Probably but it's, not. It's but not it's cool. Just, I just wouldn't <laughs> yeah. feel good about it. Yeah, that's fair. Um... <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. It, yeah, it is weird. But it's weird because you're not doing anything wrong, really. In fact, and you might be but... actually protecting a child. Yeah, yeah. yeah morally, that's you the... could argue that's that you're actually... Like... That's about, like, you could even... Have you heard of Malka? Is it Malka? It might not even be Malka. But where they hide cameras in the toilets and that, and then film people, like, girls weeing and that. I've not heard of this. I think we've seen some of the videos. Yeah, Yeah, but like without their consent. Yeah. That's like a type of porn as well. But like what if you faked that? Yeah, and then sold it, but it yeah, was just it's, you. It's, it's hard to tell, isn't it? Because like, in on one hand, if someone's already into that and like mm. they're obsessed with that and they're like they they desperately want that, like giving them a fake version of it, it might be like method in methadone to a smack knock-off, isn't it? Mm. But yeah. what you also might do is someone who's curious about it then might get into it and you might pull them down that path. It's yeah. like it's not a clear moral yeah, thing, true, is it? Yeah. It's like sex dolls mm. for pedos. If we, would... Could could we give them a little child so, sex so, doll? So, so yeah. I would say yeah. this. How about this? How about this for a genuine legitimate government policy right yeah. so if you i don't think this is going to be genuine <laughs> so, so if, you're a, if you're a pedo yeah you get to uh like speak to sign up one a month oh. that's all you're allowed <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> right you get to sign up online you get right? like the, your 10th one free so like yeah. i'm definitely you're gonna need some security on that database oh yeah i'll be signing you up 10 times in a row <laughs> yeah, this is... um god this rumble holland guy is keen um so uh yeah you, you get to speak to somebody basically in confidence and say i'm a pedo and they ratify it. And what they do is if you agree to wear like a, a tag, right, mm-hmm. and to have your computer monitored mm-hmm. and to um, sign up to the database, then they will give you like a really realistic child sex doll. Yeah, like right. like a robot. Like if robots were good enough to make sex dolls out of one of them. Right, like, yeah, yeah, totally. And you yeah. can program it however you want. I mm. want to watch Dora the Explorer. Like this. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah. I love how we're good enough to build a robot like that. But, but it still, it still does yeah, that yeah. voice. <laughs> Maybe that was like a special request. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I've, I've done the hands wrong. <laughs> but, <laughs> but legitimately, who's that hurting? Yeah. Does Does that not make the world a safer place for everyone? Maybe. I think it does. But, like... 
it's, who wants to be the one to propose this policy it's a risky package isn't what, it? Like, what, yeah. and it, yeah and a, a lot of like mums and that are fuming trying to stop people from posting their kids on tiktok and that now mm. because like pedos are watching oh but I it's think that's like, such bollocks it's th- like they're going they'd be watching outside otherwise it's yeah. like what's the difference there's some and stuff like, on tiktok though that you go jesus fucking wet you More know like, of that. i got I... <laughs> <laughs> oh i <laughs> That's super like, or is that just Tinder? <laughs> if I watch it five yeah. times, the algorithm will get it. <laughs> I just, I leave it running, then I go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> right, just this, please. <laughs> um, so, uh, so um, yeah, some of the shit on TikTok you look at and you're like, hang about, my comedy set got banned because I said the word cunt. Mm. And yet, here is somebody, I mean, that is as close to fucking porn as it could possibly be yeah, yeah but surely if you're a nonce right just like a, a kid doing a little dance isn't going to be enough for you right like you know like, like I, I'm, into, I, I'm, like I'm into yeah. like i'm into adult women and an adult woman doing a sexy little dance ain't going to be enough for me to crank one out yeah, you yeah. Know? Like, adult it women. might get me it might give me the idea to crank one out but yeah. i'm going to look at some a bit more you know little, maybe, little maybe more intense the, the naughtiness of it though that mm. makes some jizz in it uh, right, no. you, you've sold me. <laughs> See, I, I actually need less more than more, really. What? Like, so when I'm having a... It's like, oh, put your ankle away. So sometimes I'll have, a, I'll have an imagination wank. Right. Oh, I can't do that. My mind's too, my, uh, my mind's too scatty. Yeah. No, but I like yeah. to... I like to I like to do it once every in a while. Like so a, that, it's like a factory reset. Yeah, so that I know yeah. I can still do it. Do you know? Because no, yeah, yeah. I don't want to get to the point where I'm thinking and then I'm like, oh, fuck fuck, I can't do this anymore. So I want every two weeks. It's like, for example, when I went to Asia, I learned how to use chopsticks. Now, every... I'm really worried where that was going. (laughs) Like, we're having a little pedo chat. All right, so when I went to Thailand... I can really vividly remember that. (laughs) I learned how to use chopsticks, and now, every couple of weeks, I'll have a wank using chopsticks, just to... (laughs) It's the only way you can grip your little dick, isn't it? (laughs) And because like, you go, oh, he has like a spring roll as yeah, well. Yeah, exactly. Oh. It's like, trust Freddy to make yeah. wanking involved food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dip my dick in Szechuan sauce. <laughs> uh, no, but the thing is, Ooh, what's that is I don't want to lose that skill, right? Mm, skill. So I don't want to lose the, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to lose the skill of an imagination wank. Yeah. So but every once in a while, making it sound like you're doing step overs. <laughs> But the thing is, though, like knowing how to use chopsticks is handy in case you're ever in like a Chinese restaurant and they don't have. Yeah, yeah. Like, and so Western is knowing how to. This is what I mean. Like, though, like in case you never have porn or something ever again, yeah. is that what you want to keep the skill for? Just because I want the skill. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. okay. I just want to have it there. Do you put it on like, your CV in there? But when I like, can imagine, <laughs> like, yeah, uh, <laughs> pretty good at imagining. You stuff. know, like secretaries put their type in per minute. Yeah, 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 yeah. I put my uh, length of imagination. Yeah. Like, can make a six-minute reset in his head. Yeah. Uh, but when I have an imagination wank, I'm not thinking about fucking. Margot Robbie noshing me off. Mm. I'm thinking about some arse I saw in the chippy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it's more the chippy though. Yeah. I'm thinking of like yeah, exactly so- <laughs> just the smell of fat. <laughs> yeah, there's an ass there, but look at all that yeah. fish. Oh. Yeah, that <laughs> fish isn't the only thing I'm bad. He saw a naked woman in the greengrocers, but it's all the veg puts yeah. him off. He's like, ah, <laughs> <laughs> no, see when I, when I am um, like you know if I'm in like a I've been like when I've been on tour or something like I might be in a hotel where there's no Wi-Fi or whatever, can't get yeah. on. So then, you know, then I might, but like, I would go to more like memories. I'd go through, you know, the, the like, I'd go, yeah, I'd go, <laughs> I'd go back to my days when I was single and free. Remember all the random skanks. <laughs> no, I like to think of like a, 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 a random bum. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just an arse you've seen out and about. Well, yeah, isn't, like that, th- isn't that a concerning thought for all women? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you might be in Freddie's imagination wank if you've ever been near. Why is that concerning? See, I don't think women want to be in your wank, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them see it as a compliment. Yeah, but not the ones that you're doing it to. Uh, I should ask. Yeah, you should ask, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, love. Right. You don't know me. But later, I've got yeah. a bit of a skill. Yeah. Right? I'm a skilled man. Yeah. <laughs> skilled worker. I have a very specific sense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, every Thursday during lockdown, I was out clapping. It can imagination wank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's amazing. I'm going to wank over you tomorrow and you tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will have a wank over you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so if, if Freddy's uh, ever about, just watch your backs then. Is that right, okay. Watch your backs. So, so here's yeah, a question. I'll ask, you, I'll, I'll ask you this, Amy, right? So if you knew that some random person was, let's say somebody 
who's a comedian that you know but don't really know. Say he's a big fat cunt, this guy. Having... No, no, right. Let's say they're having wanks over you. Yeah. Have you seen you in the rather... chimney last night? <laughs> would, you, would, you, would you rather know or not know? Um, not know. Yeah. There you go. When I, when I had me, all my clients and that, I'd, I'd happy happier with them having like grey avatar faces. Yeah, like, so it's not human. It's not it feels like a game then, doesn't it? It feels yeah. like the yeah, sexy yeah, sims yeah. or something. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I get you. Although, like, any woman over a seven, I'd be delighted to know. Um, mm. yeah well yeah, you yeah. see that's it because most it, it, yeah I'd rather just keep it anonymous then I don't have to have nightmares about I get it like once you see someone's <laughs> face you can picture their cum face yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so you on OnlyFans then no not now no but you used to be yeah how does it work Um, so it's you have to get people to your website so you have to like promote on other places mm-hmm. like Twitter or Reddit and you have to like advertise yourself and be yeah. like here's my fanny come and have a look is that your picture it? Yeah. I, hey up but... <laughs> it's northern porn <laughs> it's right good in here come and have a look at my rats <laughs> it's mad though some of the places you have to post it because it's with reddit you have to have like been going a certain amount of time yeah you have to post, to post certain things yeah 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 so it's like and you have to post so many things before you post one self promotion yeah. and all that and shit and you have to it? get yeah, verified yeah. on other things to post in other people's things and yeah. um so you have to I'll that's t- complicated I'll, I'll tell you what there's nobody alive with a more false sense of power than a Reddit moderator. Oh, God, they oh, are the worst. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dear God, this breaks rule four, and this is your first warning. Yeah. Fuck off. Yeah. I'm banned from r slash funny. I'm banned from our humour for uh, posting a video that I made. They were like, so I was like, right, so let me get this straight. If I find someone else's video and mm. post it, like, that's fine. But if I make it, it's bad. Yeah. And it's like, there's already a system on Reddit for whether people like it or not. They upvote it or downvote it. Yeah. If you post something shit that no one wants to see, it gets downvoted. The system takes care of itself. It's done, yeah. But these little fucking incels, just like, they've got the tiniest bit of power and they fucking mm. love it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah very in- incel-y. Yeah. But the yeah. thing with, with the OnlyFans as well, though, like on Reddit, there's so many people just going like, is actual free pictures of me fanny? Yeah, yeah. That you're yeah. like, if you're not willing to show any of that, it's like, mm. what's your selling point? But there? I devalued like, yeah, 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 yeah. the pussy. I guess yeah. you got a you got a <laughs> devalued a pussy. <laughs> Supply pussy and demand, isn't it? Yeah. Pussy no inflation yeah. is going on. <laughs> There's too much pussy yeah. that's been printed. Pussy that's it, yeah. yeah. Um, I think with OnlyFans, though, you've got to buy into the person, haven't you? Mm. Definitely, and that's why it's hard to do it in OnlyFans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you get anyone who was like, you knew from your real life? Because nah, I think that's I, what I happens a I, lot. I think I blocked the UK. Right. But yeah. anyone was, with a VPN? Because that's yeah, the thing. Like, yeah, I think yeah. that happens a lot with like people on OnlyFans. Like, I was reading like a, a long read about where I like, speak to various people who tried OnlyFans. Why do I feel like this is leading to a clip that you found? No, no. no. <laughs> I'm like, is is this you? Or no. Like, so, but like, what it was, it was like it was profiling two women. One of whom was like really successful on OnlyFans, and one of whom wasn't at all. And what happened to the one who wasn't successful was they signed up and like three blokes from their work fucking found yeah. it, and that was it. Basically, yeah, it was just shit, a few like... people they knew. Then you've just sort of got all the downsides of doing porn without any of the benefit at that point, aren't you? The best thing is to just like go for creeps because then they don't want to admit that they're a creep. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Right, yeah. like so if you make it proper weird. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you, you got to niche something out, haven't yeah. you? Yeah, right. you got to niche. Like, you got to get yeah. into like There's... tentacle porn or some shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. you got to fucking get loads of dildos that look like fucking... fucking adult baby over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. The nonce hunter. Yeah. <laughs> do you Maybe know we what? should do that. Like, yeah, be like, you know, be like, yeah, I'll be 13. Yeah, and when they turn up, like, what are you doing here? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you know what? There's a third bit in being a dominatrix, mm. there's a fair bit of money to be made. And that always mm-hmm. feels less degrading if you get found. Well, no, because mm. you're Do in you know charge. I mean? Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah, yeah, you're kicking the shit out of people, Because the it? ones where it's like, oh, 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 that just feels more, because it's more submissive, it mm. feels more passive. It feels more like you should be ashamed of it. Right. Whereas the dominatrix... <laughs> I think that's part of it, to be honest. Yeah. Whereas the dominatrix thing is like, I'm owning it, I'm strong, I'm powerful. And so if it gets found by somebody, it doesn't quite have the same... 
level of shame associated with it. You're already like owning yeah. it. Yeah, kind of does that make sense? It makes yeah. sense. I mean, you know, obviously, like neither of them should have any shame, but I, yeah. I agree. Yeah. If I was, if I was a woman doing OnlyFans, I'd defo go down the dom route. Yeah, you'd make fuck all money. Man. Yeah. No, I'd, ma- I'd make fucking shit. Loads. I mean, you'd have to go for the BBW niche. <laughs> totally, that's yeah, what I'd yeah. do. I'd have long, like, oh, look fucking... at me, big fat tits. Yeah, big, but you eating white. a battered sausage, like ah, ah. <laughs> totally. <Yeah. I'd> look... <laughs> <laughs> you make yourself a little set that looks like a chippy. I, I feel like what a Jade Adam Sandler poster. Face. That's what I'd look like. <laughs> uh, I look like. I I I try and yeah, I I cover myself in fucking like latex cat suit shit. Show oh, off the Jesus. curves. That's going to be sweaty. Mm. Have like show a really curves. really powerful yeah. powerful looking makeup, <laughs> and I'd I'd have like a staff. How about that? A staff. A staff. Yeah. You fucking Gandalf. Yeah. Uh, like, <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing with a staff? Just come out of Wakanda or something. Like <laughs> Why are you having a staff? For? I, I think a staff would be a good look for, for the dominatrix. Who yeah. wants to shag an old wizard? Like yeah. a scepter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just no. You don't think a scepter is a scepter? I fucking fist your ass with it. Do you know what you, I mean? You've, you've been no, a bad. You can't fist with a stick. You've been a you bad. Can only fist with a you've fist. Been a, mm. No, no, because yeah. on the end of the scepter, right, a big fist. Is yeah, a, yeah, yeah. Is a, Classic. Is a, I stand a corrected. Fist. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> An amethyst. Yeah. Oh, oh nice. hello! Oh, Come on, yeah. fistles. Yeah. Fistles. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. we're rolling. We're, we're cooking we're now, guys. Now. Come on, yeah. riffing. All it took was a, a wand with a fist on. Yeah, yeah. Got us going. And my big fat body. Yeah. yeah. We had we had a, a porn star on recently, and he got asked to put a cactus up someone's ass. Yeah. Was, it, was it making Martin by any chance? No. He um, couldn't pick it up though to put it in. He couldn't fit it in, obviously. I mean, he could. He couldn't it's, grab it. How would you to get it, it in? Because the there's, there's no you sliding use, with a cactus. You don't use the pot that it comes in. The little no, terracotta pot. No, I think this pot. guy wanted the fucking spiky bit. But you'd use it surely like a butt plug. In that you'd use mm. the pot yeah, yeah, as maybe. like the end, and then just try and. No, but it's like getting it in and just not going to happen because you need something to like ease the bum yeah. all open, yeah. and like what, the spike's what, just going to stick into the so, arse so and it's not going if, anywhere. What about if you used, you know, the, um, you know, sort of how you have like a like, speculum? Yeah. So, so somehow, sometimes yeah. you have the clamps for your mouth, don't you? That hold your mouth in the like the one on the cum oh, yeah. shot lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah use yeah, that, yeah. but for your bum hole. I mean, probably. That's, that's a that technique that could work. And, yeah. then you'd, and then you'd ease. You'd have to prop it up like a mine shaft. Yeah. Like putting bits of wood on and it. take open. it out, maybe. Yeah. Oh, no, because then you can't get the cactus out then, can you? Imagine. I think just don't shove a cactus up your ass would yeah, be the best advice. Yeah, he was advice. a wild hey, guy, that Who guy. are you to tell someone that, though? Look, it's just advice, <laughs> right? It's like, I'm, if you want it, you fucking go for it. Yeah. If you're an adult... Send the video in as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, please do, do film it if you do it. How do I would just say it doesn't seem like the best idea. No, no, no. How do you get that fetish? Oh, years of abuse. Yeah, yeah. yeah he got yeah. touched in a garden centre, didn't yeah. he? Yeah, something <laughs> yeah, spiky up his yeah. 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 Molested in the desert, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Had a horrible trip to Nevada. <laughs> Water! <laughs> Mouthwash! Water-based lube! <laughs> 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 oh, fuck me. Yeah. But, you know, everyday things like that make me so glad that I don't have that. It must yeah. be ruthless having, like, a, a fetish like that, innit? When yeah. that's, like, the only thing that'll get you off. Exactly. If it's, like, that specific and you need that, yeah, like, yeah. fuck me. Ruthless. Mm. Yeah. We thought of a new fetish the other day because people are taking, like, dead men's sperm to... In- that was our first draft of the title for this. Dead men's dead sperm. Men's sperm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, the- like, yes, so, like, Dean was like, oh, just lying there dead still. They like, pretending like, to be dead. Being and like, Anton anyway. was like, we've got to get the sperm yeah. out. It's only a matter of minutes before <laughs> the sperm That's, that's <laughs> got to be a thing, though, pretending yeah. to be dead. Like, getting yeah. a weekend at Bernie's, but yeah. a hand job in it. Yeah. 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 That's got to be a thing, mm. pretending to be dead, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if you could imagine it, someone else has imagined it, and they fucking done it. It's rule 34, isn't it? Exactly, we, yeah, yeah, if yeah. If it's not there, you have to make it yourself. rule 35, you've got to make it, We were going to get, we were talking to Millie Dollar on a previous podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah. And we were talking about getting a sissy maid for the studio. Oh, yeah. So she was talking about being doing a, a thing or something and there was yeah. a sissy maid. Yeah. And I was saying I couldn't believe that there were people who would happily dress up in latex and clean this place for free. Yeah. Wow. I honestly Maybe not for us. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Maybe I had a guy who was like said he'd be a footstool for me. Yeah, but then I, I was like, right, come on then. Live Should do show. it for an episode, yeah. No, yeah. He, he, he just chickened out. Oh, right? what a pussy! Yeah. We're gonna do it all no, mouth, yeah, all mouth, no stool. There's oh, a yeah. <laughs> there's a, God, I wish some of the videos that we saw were no stool. <laughs> some of them are mouth and stool. Uh, yeah. yeah, I genuinely think though that there's a difference, isn't there, between your biggest fantasy and actually doing it? 
Do you know what I mean? Like, I think as soon as you come, everyone goes, oh, what have I done here? Mm. Oh, massively. Every time. Mm. Massively. And especially, we... do you know what's the worst thing about one of them? Like, at least if you watch something like that might be a bit weird yeah. and you come, you just go, turn that off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With that, you're like, ah, oh, I'm just covered in shit now. Yeah. Like, yeah. and come. There's got to be I'm a like, moment. Oh, come on. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, it feels like a weird thing to have to deal with after. Exactly. Well, we watched a, uh, there was a video that we watched in a previous one called Betty and Frank's Cow Shit Adventure. <laughs> I'll, sh I'll find it. Oh, <laughs> on, then. And it was it. literally, it's just literally people fucking in cow shit. Mm. Like oh, loads of cow shit. Here we go. And it's like, just imagine how much cleanup that's no needed. Oh, that's a lot of shit as well. Oh, oh yeah, it's loads of shit. Look, here they are. Yeah. There's and they Betty are... and Frank. Imagine that being your garage. Look at his dick. There's cow well, shit I think all they're at a farm. farm. How do people not get disease? I know. That can't be good putting Feisteria. it in your mouth. Hysteria. Yeah, like, think of, like, the fucking... Like, they have got yeast infections after this, 100%. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but, like, is cow shit the best shit to be going in? Horse <laughs> shit is what you want. It's just grass. Is it just horse? Yeah. I suppose a cow's probably about the same. They just eat grass, don't they? I but it looks it's sloppy. Gone, gone through manure. Go ahead. Yeah. Why has he put a sheet down? <laughs> yeah, like, what are you protecting yeah. there? I mean, like, where... This is from manurefetish.com, by where, the way, if anyone wants any more. How would you, like, start this? Like, I don't know. where does it start? Oh, Jesus, Fetish. don't start again. All right, there what we go. Happened? Cow shit adventure. What happens? I think I can tell you how it finishes. <laughs> no, but, like, how does it start, the fetish? Oh, again, like growing it's got, up on farms and that, do you reckon? Yeah, that one? something like that. Like yeah. it's just, it's always something in your childhood, isn't it? It's always like something sparks it off. There's always like some sort of like yeah. usually traumatic event, and then it's sort of like reclaimed by the brain and turned yeah. into something like. Mm. Yeah, like I into. think I think the girl that you fancy throws a cow pat at you, and a bit of it goes in your mouth. Oh, okay. And you're like, oh, that's the girl that I fancy. Uh, cow poo, and then it just gets mm, amalgamated. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and then it just gets amalgamated together. Yeah. Strange things going on out there, isn't it? Yeah. Not seen Lauren in years. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like you know, I, I'm I, I'm not surprised by anything anymore. Like from the the videos we've been sent in, no, you know, people, like there's mad people out there doing everything, isn't it? Yeah. Like it's crazy. And look, Wild if you're not there. hurting anyone else and you're all adults and into it, fucking you know, more power to you. Do Go you, get involved. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know, yeah. You know, like, the cow shit. I don't know. It does seem unhealthy, but you know, just seems a bit unhygienic to me. Yeah, I think that I mean? is a fair complaint with like, the cow shit adventure. Yeah, just like getting yeah. it inside. You know, this like, is it. It's all over uh, his knob, and then you're putting mm, it in her. Like yeah. that can't be good. I, look, I am no fanny doctor. I'm just a keen amateur. <laughs> right. <laughs> Well, I am no fanny doctor. Yeah. You can tell because I didn't like, know the word gynecologist. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like you needed to straighten just, that out. I just wanted to be clear. I know a lot of misinformation gets shared on podcasts. Yeah. So you know well, Rob's got a PhD in fanny doctorate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> has he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he has I've he got an honorary it. doctorate, you know, from all the years I've put in. <laughs> I, uh, apprenticeship I once was in Edinburgh in 2014 with a comedian who was 17 years old, and he said, no word of irony, I've got a PhD in pussy. Nice. And I remember thinking, lad, you're 17. At best, you've got an AS level. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. An SAT. Uh, yeah, you got SATs. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, a PhD in pussy. I've got a PhD in pussy. What I was what... your thesis? <laughs> what was your dissertation? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's mad. Jesus. I don't, I mean, the sort of a... Uh reset the whole podcast that little bit didn't it yeah no, i don't know yeah. where what we were talking about before or, oh it's killer now. it's killer yeah. that's why we wait for the videos to be the <laughs> yeah because like, once you've it. seen them like there's no moving yeah. on yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but you know if you want to see more we've got fucking hundreds we'll yeah. go at the end innit? do you yeah, know yeah. what i think is uh is funny i was checking twitter today yeah. and i saw loads of people like comedian com comedians uh being like i would never do Joe Rogan's podcast. Oh, yeah. It's and it like, you'll never get asked for flight. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'll, do, I'll do it tonight. Yeah, like, yeah. I will get on a plane now. Yeah. Like, it's the biggest show yeah. in the world. Yeah. I like that guy. Like, yeah. I, I know, like, he's, he's an older white yeah. man. It's that's, he's got that's some, the devil now. He's got some shit views, but, like, but so has <sighs> most people. I know. Everyone, yeah, no one's yeah. perfect. But though. also, you've watched hours of him. Yeah, yeah. That's I know it. him. I know him. Whereas that. people watch thirty seconds of him like, yeah, and, and make an opinion about him and that in it. Like yeah, you could do you that can't. with anyone, really. And like, like some of his podcasts are fucking awful. He does yeah. get some more horrible cunts on, and yeah. he doesn't really challenge him. Yeah. But like that's kind of his thing. He just talks to people and goes, "Oh, okay." His thing but is like, just some having are... a conversation with exactly. People, he's not. It? He's like, not a journalist, and it's weird. Look, we've yeah. put him into this position of like 
power. Yeah, and he didn't him, expect you know? this either. Exactly. He was but like, like, I was just trying to be myself. Yeah, out yeah. With, I'm with my mates, and yeah. now look. Yeah. We uh, have been chatting about different guests to get on the podcast, and one of the things that we want to try and do is to uh, get different sorts of people on rather than just comedians all the yeah, time. Yeah, it's a thing you guys do on Mild High. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. something that a person that I really want to get on, but Rob is dead set against, is Katie Hopkins. I knew you were going to say that. I just I I, get why you want to get it on. Yeah. yeah. But I, I, I just think she's physically a wouldn't want to talk to her. Exactly. No, I just think she's a cunt. I don't want to give her any oxygen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess. But like someone had that, do you know that woman that's, now Sophie black. Anderson. Oh no, sorry. Oh, oh Rachel, Rachel, Rachel Dozil. Dozil. Like, yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. The German woman. The German woman. Oh, who was on this morning? She like massive boobs. Right. Like oh, really? Racial. Now she's like fully okay. dyed her skin black. Shit. Like she's like, done the reverse Michael like, Jackson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dark as well. Yeah. Like it's shagging not, older. She's older. gone like Stormzy dark. <laughs> like mm, really, yeah. really dark. And just it's interesting though, isn't it? To be like to mm. talk and be like, yeah. what's going See, on? That's, in a, there? that's interesting because they're a mental, <laughs> yeah. right? But like, yeah. Katie Hopkins is like actively harmful for she's other people, she's just like a horrible yeah. cunt. Yeah. I just think yeah. she's a cunt, yeah. No, like, but we could call her a cunt, yeah. I'll that's call her a cunt it, now. Yeah. I don't have to have her ear, Katie Hopkins. <laughs> you're a fucking cunt, but but I, put it on Twitter. But yeah. I feel as though having her here and calling her a cunt is funnier. You do I just views, don't like, wanna... get views. We're getting one of her mates on though, is the thing, right? Because Katie Hopkins, yeah, one of her mates is I can't remember his name. Ah, shit, I've forgotten his name, Stephen something. He Used to host fat families, and he's he, like, oh, do you right, remember, okay. like a clip of him like doing intros went like viral. Recently. I think we watched a clip last night of a woman on the couch going, "Get me a pack of discos," oh, and he's like, that. "What more food?" Yeah, yeah, he's like really mean to fat people. Yeah. So I've invited him on to talk to Freddie, uh, but <laughs> it turns out he's doing a tour with Hopkins. So this was like oh, the infant yeah. to maybe get her on, and I was like, "Nah, just don't want to." I mean, uh, if you've I got do. the chance though. Uh, maybe I, a little bit. I maybe do. for the second section, just to show her the videos. Thank you. Uh, I think it'd be funny to have yeah. her on. I don't like her as a person. No, I, I don't think that she's I good just in like, any way. I just thought yeah. she'd fucked up a bit, and I think that's good. I think just let her it drift off. Good, yeah, into yeah but I understand that. Her being on Dead Men Talking is not going to revitalise your fucking career, is it? Like, I don't want to even help it a tiny bit. I okay. fucking hate. I just don't want to. Like, she's, not gonna chat. she's not going to be a fun chat. She's not going to be a fun chat. It's not going to be like a hangout where I'm like, hey, so Katie, yeah. like, yeah. you're an evil bitch like yeah. you know and like, you say something as a joke and she's like definitely exactly like, exactly. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was only joking Katie yeah. she <laughs> comes on and she goes I've got a joke for you all to start yeah yeah why did the Romans <laughs> 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 yeah. Jesus Christ yeah. I think it could be great marketing and definitely like a viral potential if you just call just don't it a want it. Yeah. but yeah that's if you what yeah, yeah. price are you willing what to about I've had, well I've had a problem with this recently I called a lot of right wing people cunts and they went like for a roast of Count Dankula and they didn't play the video because it was too offensive uh, yeah. genuinely yeah 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 what about I got cancelled I know from the free speech <laughs> roast I got yeah. cancelled yeah. Yeah. what about right different idea yeah. we get Katie Hopkins on the on here and then just burn uh, the building uh, no, down no, no. <laughs> no we get her here and then we just ignore her we don't talk to her we just do the podcast just me and me just talk sat about there her fuming. and she sat there and every once in a while we'll go like this we'll we just go, turn her mic we'll, off yeah. <laughs> or we'll go like this like, like, like we look like we're about to evolve her we go so anyway Rob yeah uh, we'll just tell it like what we do is right we do like if you just wait there we do a bit of an intro where we just talk for a bit and then we yeah. bring you in yeah. yeah and then just after an hour and a half be like right cheers Katie off you yeah. fuck yeah. <laughs> that'd be so that'd be boss spend the whole hour just fucking shitting on it as well yeah. just going have you seen this interview Katie Hopkins done and watch it going she fucking give me that, that sick bucket so, yeah oh, find that photo of her like, shagging someone yeah, in a field yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> when she got busted shagging someone in a field yeah, what yeah. she got busted shagging someone in yeah. a field yeah there's pictures right, of right wing yeah. Right wing women are always dirty. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, I've I've I've, I've shagged two at least uh, Nazis in my life. Yeah. <laughs> At I least. found out. I found out afterwards on this on one of them. One of them. I went back to their room and they had a screwdriver fo- poster on the oh, wall. Oh, the band. The band with yeah, a K yeah, in, yeah. like they're like a racist punk band. Yeah. She was this Italian goth, and she was so fit. I was like, I'll just do a bad job. <laughs> <laughs> so like, you know, she didn't have a good time. Uh, but yeah, the, the other one, like, uh, I slept with someone, and then afterwards, I started talking about like crime statistics for black people. And I was yeah. like, oh Christ! And I was doing a sociology degree at the time, so I was very well placed to correct her. Yeah. So yeah, I yeah. did on loads of stuff, but then it just made a really weird vibe. So I started mm. to get her to leave. Yeah. <laughs> she was led in bed, cuddling, and she was like, she was like, ah, bloody black people, yeah. I no tell way. you, crazy. I, I tell you, rob a lot of things. Yeah, <laughs> you're like, yeah. what? People, I thought, you, I think you're just gonna make me a brew or something. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Oh, I haven't got the internet. 
Oh. No, yeah, I'm not. I'm not connected to the Wi-Fi. All right, I, uh, I can give you the Wi-Fi code if you ah, want. Ah, no, well, it's all right. You, you, imagine Katie Hopkins getting bummed in a field. Yeah. There we go. That's what it she's is. Getting bummed? No, it's just you know adding a little flavour to it, <laughs> spicing it up. A little yeah, summer, yeah, summer, yeah, yeah, a little something, something. I mean, spice got, up that public yeah, sex. Yeah, yeah. If you've got a picture of her ass in a chippy, oh god, would you shout Katie Hopkins? I would have done ten years ago. Right. No, no. Yeah. When you, know, you, when you were you know 23. Do, 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 do you know I think he's quite fit now? Uh, Jada France. I know, you always say this. He fucking looked, she was like the EDL woman. She, she was like, fit. I don't, she's I don't not, know, I don't follow the not, EDL, Freddy. She, uh, she looks like. <laughs> I've noticed you've not been coming to the meetings. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Why sign up, Dean? <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to make the best Baron Manning jokes and then I bailed out. That was what it was. But yeah, she just looks like every mum on a council estate. She's oh, not fit. Okay. Yeah, right. I, I quite like slug fit though, like like sluggy yeah, fit. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Like, ooh, dutty, dutty mm, fit. You right, know, like yeah, yeah. you know, like there's some sort of sexy where it's like I just yeah, but not I, Nazis. I do it's all the, <laughs> Is it more dirty? Like you know that the yeah, but I like d- I like rough sex, so I uh-huh. like I like chucking somebody about a bit, and I feel like I'd be able to really fucking lean into those slaps if it was somebody that I didn't like very much. Yeah, to be fair, <laughs> I suppose you'd, re- you'd really put your weight into the punches. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah. choke me fucking with pleasure. <laughs> okay, fair enough. You know, there was a nice yeah. noise at the end of that. So yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> like it was a wholesome thought. Yeah, yeah. You're strangling someone to death. <laughs> nice. Yeah. My safe word is drowned in the channel. <laughs> Jesus <God>. wept. <laughs> Fucking hell almighty. Yeah, well, this is what you're fucking dealing with. If you're going to shag Nazis, you've got yeah. to confront the reality of it. Let's yeah. do some Rwanda role play. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever slept with a racist? Either of you? Do you, are you aware? She has. Yeah. Me. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you've got too many tattoos to be doing this mate oh. like you know you've got a prison vibe about you lad <laughs> I am wearing prison grey I know yeah well. in your grey jumper yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I, as far as I know none of them were racist yeah uh, they didn't might out be. themselves. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, There was no like swastika flags on the yeah, wall yeah. or nothing like that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if it was earlier in the conversation, I would have bailed. But, so, you know, have you found out before with the Italian goth? Yeah. So you walked in and there was she, like, she was very fit. So like she was like you know so she was like a special case. When does it balance out? Like where's well, there's, a, there's a clear curve. Fitness? There's a clear curve, isn't yeah. there? Like you know if like you've got to be more fit than you are racist. Mm. You know. <laughs> And if you are, a, <laughs> like, really, you think that that's where the curve is, Rob? That's my curve, that you yeah. have to be more fit than racist, yeah. as opposed to being more racist than fit and yeah. going, yeah. well, no, my type, <laughs> not right. No, I my type go- is really ugly, heavily racist. <laughs> yeah. yeah, welcome well, to Bolton. Yeah, yeah. like, I guarantee that. I want, no race- I want my women to have the Hitler mustache. <laughs> yeah. They will do when I'm finished. Yeah. Oh, like screech in that video. Oh, oh yeah, little, uh, dirty but, Sanchez. Yeah, but I, like, I, like, I will guarantee. Like, I will not give a racist an orgasm or any woman. So you justify it. Yeah. Well, I shagged her, but she didn't come. Yeah. Yeah. So you want to you, you want to think about inclusivity a bit more, yeah. darling. And yeah. next if time, you want to let I'll... immigrants come, then you can. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll find your clitoris when you find your moral compass. Yeah. <laughs> I'm into open borders and minges. <laughs> Open minges. Oh, open minges, my favourite yeah. kind. <laughs> I mean, it's more, it's more ideal if they're open, isn't it? Like, yeah. yeah. I mean, like open them. source, like like software. You know, like anyone can get involved, tinker around a bit. <laughs> Do you know what open source software is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I just yeah, yeah. found it disturbing what you yeah. said. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just checking whether you knew or you were just upset. I think like, it was more disturbing than uh, hilarious. I right, just so you of... wouldn't shag it. What <laughs> open <laughs> slack? <laughs> open source vagina? No, yeah. I want me to have the sole access to it. Oh no, I like that. I, I, That's why I don't really like. I don't like. I want a ideas. fucking soldier. I want a professional with them. <laughs> yeah, We're yeah. going to war. They've done the ten thousand hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, mate. Yeah. I don't like. You see, I don't like the idea of like swinging or polyamory and stuff like that. Well, I like it up until the point someone shags my missus. Have, mm. ever, like, have you ever been to a swingers place? We will look at one. Go, there's a there's a uh, one in Birkenhead. Oh, mate, it don't sounds go in Birkenhead. Rough. No, yeah, it no, looks what? sick in there. We're not going to go yeah. and shag people, but we want to just go and see what the fuck what's sure, going sure. on there's in there. There's like dungeons in yeah. there. Go record a podcast. But it looks there, dead yeah. nice though. Yeah. Like it, it looks like a the cool clientele bar. will be different though. Like, oh, room. that's what I'm looking for. And like a doctor's room as well. Yeah, you can go like role play. But like I watched the documentary about swingers clubs where they were like. 
they were, they were talking about who comes and they're like, yeah, our average is 19 men for every woman. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. that's not a ratio He's I want to get involved. So you're, not, you're only allowed one single man for every, one single heterose- heterosexual man yeah. for every couple. Right, right, right. So not like that to keep the numbers down. Right, so, mm, sure. so if you two went, you'd have to pick me or Rob. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I was going to take James Allen. Amazing. Because yeah. <laughs> that would be good. Oh, that would be amazing. <laughs> yeah. I just, the problem is, I don't feel like I'm going to get a good swap because I'm going to turn up with my fit misses. <laughs> yeah. right? And I'm like, am I am I going to be trading up or down? Yeah, yeah, I feel yeah. like I'm going to be going down. Yeah, but you, yeah. Don't have to, you don't have to do anything, do you? you can no. Just, no. You can well, just, it's not like, what's the point in it's, going? It's not well, like Fight Club. Like, if it's your first time, you have to shag. Involved, because you're yeah. like looking at all this, don't you, about doing it? Like that, isn't it? Yeah, but in a different way, right? The enjoyment I get from these yeah. sort of things isn't like I'm not like, oh fuck you. Yeah, I'd watch a lot less Naked Martin if he was just in the corner and wanking off. Smell it. Yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. But that's why I like Naked Attraction and that because mm-hmm. it's just like what he's doing. Give me three pounds, said Rob. Yeah. Yeah, Are you I'm, doing I'm, it like a little bedtime story? Yeah, I'm doing it in the third person. All right, yeah. Join us on Patreon if you're enjoying this. Said Rob as he scratched his itchy, disgusting skin. I didn't scratch myself, though, at all. No, no, you but can't that's, just like, that's you know, a cue for you two. False, that's fake news. Should we try it again, then? No. No. No, we've done it now. Explained Rob as he looked into the camera wistfully and wished his dad would come home. <laughs> <laughs> give us three pound a month for yeah. patreon uh if you enjoy uh dead men talking then why not become a patron it's three quid a month uh you go over to patreon.com forward slash dead men talk pod and by signing up you get an extra episode every single week access to all the extra content that we put out rob's punishment set the live roast shows you get access to the discord what good where, value where we keep all of the um all the videos and stuff it is genuinely it's always called the best value uh, patron in the game By because us. we're not uh, a podcast that does tears we're not one of these oh three pound five pound ten pound because we can't be our three quid you get fucking everything for yeah. that and you help to support us your money helps keep this podcast going because it's you... hard to get sponsors for this <laughs> bloody impossible yeah who'd have thought we had manscape for two weeks explained rob <sighs> as he thought about all the times in his life where people have pretended to love him, to be close to him. Mm-hmm. Why are you smiling at that? It's nice. It's like I'd take him pretending, you know. Said Rob's mum as she faked yet another orgasm. Right. Who's badly shagging me mum in this story? Said Rob to the queue of men outside his mum's door. I've, I've inept men. Anyway, gives three quid. Let's get back to it. Said the men... <laughs> Oh, just... Naked Attraction is fucking insane. It's one of his favourite yeah. shows ever. So yeah. so sometimes, Naked Attraction, they'll go on Naked Attraction and they will have a demonstrably small cock. I know, and like, what are you doing on the mm. cock judging show? And it's yeah. like, it's, you like must... it's fine having a little dick, but on there. You yeah. must <laughs> know that you have a tiny penis. Yeah, sure. You must know. You must have watched porn or someone must have said at some point. It's like people who can't sing going on X Factor. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's yeah, 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 yeah. Like, it should be Simon Cowell going. We're gonna have to blame put your you parents. in a group. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to put you in a group. Maybe they're into small penis humiliation, and that's why they go. Yes. On. Do you know what? There was no. A, that is a very good thought. There a, actually, there was yeah. a comedian who went on uh, Naked there was, Attraction. There was well, a guy from guy from Leeds. Yeah, he's not. He's not a comedian. No, really. but he was like the local mental it, in Leeds. Yeah, yeah he was right. like the. You know, every once in a while, every mm. scene. Every mm. scene creates their own weird shit open spot. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was him. Yeah, basically. and like the day that happened, the, the Yorkshire comedian WhatsApp nearly fucking exploded. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah. I was out busy doing something and I, I got back to like, I, I I put my phone on, I had like 40 notifications of people tagging me, like, how has Rob not seen this yet? But how has Rob not? And I was like, ah! He's a really, as well, without being horrible, he's a really pathetic looking person. <laughs> That's so horrible. Yeah, no, <laughs> well, well, it is horrible, but it's. <laughs> how is that not a horrible thing to say? I'm not being horrible, right? but yeah. you're pathetic yeah your entire existence is worthless Uh, not being horrible I'll take the nice out of that (laughs) he looks pathetic (laughs) it's not like for example like he wasn't a stud but even if you got like a big fat comic Mm. That it's like you know, ugh, you, you know, like some people might be into that if they've got a charismatic fat dad. But you it, know? it's yeah. honestly, he's, he's got the body of like a, a sickly boy, right? Yeah, like, yeah. like I've got, I've got leukemia, like that kind of body. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like he looks like he should be wearing striped pajamas. <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, so um he uh basically he went on it right and he i i think he was quite clearly the least endowed and worst one mm-hmm. but the woman who was on it had she, she was very self-aware of what she was doing yeah. and she didn't want to be like well that looks like a little boy's penis yeah. so yeah. no so she kept him for like the first round, right? Yeah, yeah. I hate yeah. when they do that. Yeah. Just get rid of the, you're not. You just don't want the little knob. Yeah, just say that. Little, and yeah. Maybe, maybe you don't want the enormous one. That's fine. Like, yeah. Maybe you're like scared of it. That's yeah, okay. Yeah. It is, but you definitely don't want the tiny. It one. is very weird logic, isn't it? To be like, well, he has got a very small childlike penis, but. Let's see what his belly button looks yeah. like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but maybe you fall in love with someone and then you find out they've got a little dick and you're like, you know what? I love this person. We can work around that. We can make things work. Yeah. Yeah. But if you're just judging them off the knob Which is and what you don't know is. anything yeah. else about yeah. them, you don't want the yeah, little knob. Yeah, yeah. No. and yeah. their excuses are so stupid as well. Yeah. Like yeah. that constellation of freckles, ate it, get rid of that one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, exactly. Be, it's dick. like, no, you don't like the little knob. Yeah. There'll be, yeah, yeah. Or there'll be guys that <laughs> are like, a vagina that looks like it's exploded. <laughs> you know those fannies that just go <laughs> like that yeah. and they're just everywhere. Yeah. Be like that, but I don't like a really fat, weird, misshapen body. And they'd be like, oh, well, I just I just don't think we... Don't think our personality is yeah, going to match. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, yeah. I, I just feel like she'd like to say it and watch TV and I'm more of an outdoorsy guy. Yeah. Yeah. I'd love to go on there and just be honest and be like, her flaps are minging. Yeah. Yeah. They're gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're droopy as shit. I'd, Fuck off. I'd love to see I'm not that. fucking Billy Burham. <laughs> <laughs> My favourite bit on Naked Attraction is the bit where when they get voted off, they have to do the little spin. Yeah, and then uh, it's so awkward. I've got like, some of them on my phone. Of what they do, because like they spin, because they speed it up as well. Mm. So obviously in real life they're just slowly spinning round naked, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then it cuts at the end and like, like a but I've, I've tried it's it like, oh, so awkward <laughs> and like, it's hard like deciding what you want to do at the end of the spin yeah like and you have to just do it and I'd yeah finish, I get why it's awkward take the knee <laughs> <laughs> spin one knee <laughs> nice head down <laughs> like I've just won a bronze medal in the 70s <laughs> fucking hell <up. laughs> oh Jesus Christ <laughs> uh, like when I shagged that Nazi I took the knee before I went down on her oh that's good then <laughs> <laughs> Just thought I'd even it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This one's for Kaepernick. <laughs> you fisted her, but it was the Black Lives Matter. Yeah, fist. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just like yeah, when Black Power. Bosh. <laughs> <laughs> I told her it was a Nazi salute. She didn't know I'd clenched. <laughs> It has to be a Nazi salute to get in, no, doesn't it? Yeah, that's it. On the that's way in. Trick, it? Yeah, Nazi on the way in, Kaepernick on the way out. Fuck <laughs> 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 it. Oh, Nazi Jesus. in the streets, Kaepernick in the sheets. <laughs> 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 oh, anyway, this kid who went on naked attraction, yeah. Right, oh, yeah, adult to be clear, with a pathetic body. <laughs> at the, at the <laughs> end of it, he was like, "I've just, I've just had a great time." Yeah, yeah just like he's been time. on Family Fortunes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've had a lovely day. <laughs> yeah. I've got I've got the spa weekend. I've got yeah. the washing machine. He's just like I've just had a lovely time. Yeah. I've just had a lovely time. It's just like say what you're thinking, which is. Well, this was a mistake. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, or he's cause... just made up. He got his dick out in front of strangers. Yeah, he might have always wanted yeah. to like expose himself to people, and now yeah, he's done like it. That. And now he's like, "How the fucking boss time?" Now? Well, to be fair, he did stand up for three years, and he was shit at it, so he was into public humiliation. <laughs> <Hey>. Yeah, <laughs> and he had a pathetic body. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It, just, it just seems like a baffling choice to me. Like, I don't think I'll ever get me knob out on telly. I don't no. think there's enough If you money. want to go on like a reality TV show like that, which one are you going on? Uh, well, they, well, they have psoriasis on embarrassing bodies. I'll be like, look, I've got a bit of a scabby head. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Is that enough? No, uh, I don't think so. I don't think uh, would, you like, would you do like um, The Island or something? One of them. I feel like you'd uh, want to go on holiday, wouldn't you? Yeah, I'd I'd wanna, wanna, I'd, what I'd want to do is one of the shit ones no one watches so it doesn't impact your life that yeah, much. Yeah, so like right. The Island would be fine. That'd <laughs> yeah. last for three months and everyone would forget you. Yeah. you know? I'd do uh, SAS Who Does Wins. Would you? Yeah. Yeah. That would be hilarious. Uh, yeah. I'd yeah. love to watch you do 10 seconds of a boot camp. I'd, I'd <laughs> I'd, I'd like the idea of Aunt Middleton having a go at me and me going, do you know what, Anthony? Yeah. I don't respond well to bullies. Haunted. <laughs> yeah, haunted. Haunted. haunted, haunted I, I, I really want to do haunted. I get yeah. so obsessed, right? I've got such a... Ma- so, I've got a massive... I know my strategy. For, I've okay, got what's your strategy? So, so for those people, by the yeah. way, that don't know what haunted is, haunted is a British-UK uh, mm-hmm. show where you have to evade capture 
for like three weeks. Yeah, isn't it's it? like three weeks. And these people are like professionals at finding and catching people, yeah. and they get access to all the police equipment, mm-hmm. and they get access to like the fucking cameras on the motorways and yeah. stuff for like motorway recognition stuff. Yeah, they get yeah. they access pretend to they're the like... police, basically. Yeah. So you've got to basically yeah. evade capture from the police for three weeks. I've got my strategy. Yeah. What's yours? So mine is like very multi-layered, right? What, what, is, what is very important... <laughs> like a cake. What is very important is like what people always fuck up is they always like... Uh, they might get a burner phone, but then they call someone they know and then just go, oh, right, this random number's called them, so that's going to be where they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you need... Everyone you need to contact has to have a burner for a start. You have to have completely separate numbers numbers anyone you might need to contact okay so, and so you have several burners and where i'm leaving these burners for me that i'm going to rotate through is in a series of cheap cars i leave hidden around the country <laughs> right all right so already you've spent about oh, no, 15 my, my, grand my, my, my plan is probably going to cost more than the prize money but i'm doing it for the pride oh. right uh, it's not a win, it? so, so like, wait a minute so wait a minute you're saying that you could evade police capture mm-hmm. for three weeks if it cost over a hundred thousand pounds, no, no, right. it's not going to cost a hundred thousand pounds. I'm going to buy like four, or five cars for like three hundred quid each. Okay. Yeah, right. So like, leave them shade sc- cars, like yeah. exactly. Leave them scattered down country lanes in the middle mm. of nowhere. So that's fifteen hundred quid, right? I'm Plus also, all your phones. I need to find another two hundred fifty. About quid. five different lanky bearded men, <laughs> right? Because I'm going to put them all in a van, and this is the first stage of my plan. Wherever I'm dropped off, I've got to get to this van, and when we get in it, we're going to drive somewhere where there is a camera, and then we're all going to scatter. Right, well, and then I I've got this. decoys on the run. I right? feel like the police would already be watching that van. No, nah, the van's hidden, mate. <laughs> no, five <laughs> fellas who look like yeah. you in one van, the police would be like, watch that one. All right, fair <laughs> enough, yeah, yeah. I, I, I would really like to do it, so you have decoys running around the place and I'm just at home the entire time. Yeah, and like, That'd yeah, be fucking nice. great to be in the attic. But yeah, yeah like it's all about decoys. It's all about like it's all mm. about like having layers in between Shall you. And like, you... the way to get around the country as well, if I can't get anywhere, go to any comedy club. So and Just go I, that, drive me somewhere. Yeah, you've got yeah. a unit of like There's no phone tracing. I could just go to a comedy club, go... And also, there's another layer. Oh, okay, there's another layer. The third layer. I'm going to film some sets in comedy clubs and pretend I'm there on that night Do and then put live. them up yeah. put them up like their lives. Yeah. So they like go there whilst I'll also be at another club doing a set, mm. filming that and putting it up. Cash in hand as well to pay for one of your Exactly, cars. exactly, <laughs> mate. Yeah. So I've got a fucking source of cash. Yeah. And then the, <laughs> mate, the hunted like, people are like, uh, Rob's just put another set up of his comedy. They're like, oh, I'm not watching. That. Yeah, yeah, fucking <laughs> yeah, let yeah, him go. Put, put it on mute. Find <laughs> out where the thing is, but mute it. See, my idea is actually completely the opposite of yours right and it's much just stay still it's, it's much better yeah i imagine <laughs> don't get out the van yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. just drive us home there fella. <laughs> bored already imagine just hiding <laughs> yeah. you go off chasing everyone else and yeah. you're still in it like fuck, i got away with it so right my plan and this this is the best part it's better than yours right okay so my plan is to get a canal barge Mm. Okay. So slow. Yeah. Well, this is it. But here's the thing, right? The way that they fuck up on Hunted is they either stay somewhere that's really easy to be caught in, mm. or they move around. They go, right, okay, I'm going to live in the woods for three weeks, and they can't do it because they're wet and miserable yeah, and they're and fucking hungry, as, hungry yeah. as shit. And they, they, they might be able to survive for one or two nights, but eventually they're going to flush out. Mm. Have a canal boat packed full of shit. Mm. You can stay there. You can keep a low profile, but you can always keep moving. Yeah. What, there's what no, happens there's if no, they get on your trail once, there's no, there's no backup plan. There's yeah. no, 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 no. There's no, there's no cameras on fucking canal. Yeah. It's a good barges. idea, but it'd be shit to watch. Just you on a canal boat. I also don't going. think it's yeah. that good an idea. Chris, because I'm for three weeks. <laughs> because like, how still haven't found Freddy. How, how have you got this canal boat with no trace of, to you? It was a cash in hand. Cash in hand canal boat. Yeah. Right. Okay. I imagine like, they also put out loads of things of like if you spot any right, if you've spotted a big fat cunt, ring us in. There's okay. grasses everywhere. So, I hate so, that, so you know. yeah. here's oh, the thing. grassing on that. The so so here's the thing yeah. is uh I shaved my head mm. and I shaved my beard, instantly looked totally different. Get one of them. You still look like a big fat cunt. With a bikini woman on it. There you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. Sticky beard yeah. to your head. Where as well. <laughs> Stick me beard. That's what you should do. Stick my head to my... Yes. You look like Kramer. <laughs> uh, get a little uh, glasses. Yeah. Like uh-huh. that. Yeah. Um, and then wear a corset that sucks everything into Right, I, I think thinner. people on a canal might spot this person. <laughs> I think you might stand out in rural England. What do you mean? Big fat cunt in a corset. <laughs> 
like a corset to his beard. Wrapped onto a corset, I know. With his beard glued to his head. No, but the corset is underneath. Trying to buy a boat with cash it on. It's no. Why has that fella got such an hourglass figure? <laughs> to be fair, your size would be a fucking weak glass. <laughs> so, I would wear the corset the way that a lady would wear a corset mm. in like Jane Austen times. I wouldn't wear a corset like idiots wear a corset. So you now got like big hooped the skirts and fucking... stuff as well. You what? You got big hooped skirts, petticoats. Yeah. <laughs> How are you getting out to do the locks in a petticoat? So I think I'm trying to evade the, the hunters on a penny farthing and now. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it, that's what I would do. I would ride a canal yeah. and cross dress like I'm in Bridgerton. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and you know what? There'd be so many because <laughs> because of the way that tolerance and equality is. Yeah. There'd be people going, "Don't look at him. Don't yeah. look at him. Yeah. Don't don't catch his eye." Again, you forget like tolerance and that might be in the city. In in the sticks, they're gonna be like, "Look yeah. at that fucking weirdo." Push him in the canal. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, they'll fucking burn you. <laughs> like you go through the wrong bit of rural England, yeah. they I are not gonna still, tolerate. That. I still think that a canal is the best shout because. Again, it's like a good part idea. of the plan, yeah, but you need more there's, to there's it because so like, if they get on that trail... There's so fun. little surveillance and you can put enough food there to last three there weeks. Are, there is security cameras down canals, though. There's like pubs and stuff down it. They've caught people on canal paths multiple times on the show. Mm. So like it's not like you're invulnerable. Like on the little underpasses path. and shit like yeah. that. Yeah. Unless you're scuba down the canal. Yeah, that's Get in at one point. <laughs> live underwater. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm going to live go. underwater for three yeah. weeks. That's my plan. The worst one I've seen, there was a celebrity one. Who was it? It was some like newsreader or something and she just went to a her gated community where she's got a holiday home and just didn't let them in. Uh... So the security was just like, no, you can't come in. They're like, what? She's in there. And like, yeah, she just, just wouldn't like, let him in. Looking at them going, yeah, she stayed there for like a few days. Yeah. She was there for a while That's with the hunters so outside. So funny, and then eventually fucked her out, yeah. Did you see the one with the autistic lad and his dad? Yeah. I oh, think that was, was the best moment in no, British Tower. No, what was that? So they was just both like a bit helpless, hopeless yeah, yeah, yeah. about it. And they was like, you know what, we're going to separate because I don't want to slow you down. I don't want to slow you down. We was like, we're just, we're probably going to both get caught, but let's let's yeah. try this. And they both ended up like winning. Yeah, yeah. It was and nice. it was just like, like they're running so for the thing and they see each other and they're like fucking no way yeah. and it's just like it was so <laughs> sick my it was amazing my favourite ever though was a, there was a series where uh, the show started they drop them out of the van mm. and this woman just went to the coach station got on a coach to London and they just waited for her at the end <laughs> <laughs> like, that, that was it they were like she's on a fucking yeah. coach uh, they were like she's gone to the they've watched her go into the coach station mm. so they're like right what coach is she okay and they just got her like just got her like that. So that was it. Funny, yeah. That was her whole thing. She's probably on that coach the whole time, going, "Yeah, yeah." She was. She was I like, "Yeah." They talked to her like, "Yeah, right." I'm going to be so far away that yeah. I'm going to get me, and they were just waiting. At Coaches the end. are so yeah. slow. Yeah, They're and there's cameras on them. The they can bus. see you getting the ticket <laughs> on the cameras. They can Driving see where you're buying the, the ticket time. to. Yeah. She used a card to buy the ticket. Oh dear God! So like, they're just like, "All right, she's bought a ticket to London, so yeah. we'll wait for it in London." Honestly, yeah. that if that was my mum, that'd be more degrading than her on Naked Attraction. I'd rather see. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if they've got booths big enough for your mum. I'd rather see her (laughs) (laughs) sticks sticking (laughs) out. Why did you make a Jurassic Park sound? Yeah, I was just squeaking. I was, I was the me plastic squeaking the thing. I didn't mean to sound like a dinosaur. She'd come up, she'd come up with the music yeah. and go, do, 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 yeah. do, do, do. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, like, I really like every time I watch on it I'm like I'd love to do it but I know it'd be such a horrible experience actually doing it I'd yeah. be so stressed for, I, I would yeah. I would overthink it so much do you know it'd only be I... fun if you were guaranteed some money at the end yeah, yeah, yeah. do you know what like, I'd do even then I'd be so stressed about it all the time here's I'd be what... like I've got to be one step ahead I'd be so paranoid here's like, what we worth. should do the stress isn't worth oh it. you know what we should fucking do you know what we should fucking do I don't so, like this uh Right, podcast collab. Mm. Me and Rob, you two. Um, I mean, I, another one, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> if you want, to, if we want to get some people who are easy to beat. Yeah. <laughs> Here, have a monopoly game. Go argue over that. <laughs> uh, have a word if they wanted to, yeah. but they're too they're too big for us now. Yeah, they? they don't need us. Right. <laughs> here's what here's what we do. We get loads of podcasts. Right. And we do a race across the country. Yeah, start at the top. Start at the, the top. Bottom. No money. Land's End, John O'Groach. No, you've got like a tenner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To get Land's End, John O'Groach. What about you doing? Yeah. For, what are you doing for Scran? Like, how you, you got to work it out. Oh, okay. You got to work that shit out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That does sound fun. I'm, to be fair. I'm spending yeah. our tenner on food. I know this is it. He's gonna. <laughs> he 
he's going to spend the tenner before we've gone anywhere. He's going to be in the shop in the station. Do you know what? I'm going to spend the tenner. Don't spend it at W.H. Smith's. I'm going to spend the tenner just on cold cut meat. (laughs) We're just going to be walking down a motorway in the pissing rain with him just eating a packet of ham. (laughs) Do you want some Bernard Matthews, Rob? A vegetarian, you cunt. (laughs) You didn't even get food I can eat. Does sound like a fucking boss How great idea. would oh, that yeah. would be? Yeah, or, yeah. oh, like, give it a time limit, see who can get the furthest. Mm. That'd be cool as well. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, oh, you've got a week, see so who can get the furthest. Yeah. That'd be really cool. And we put it on... Um, we just put, we, no point putting that on Patreon, is it? We just have to put it out there. Yeah. Yeah. Might be, it might be something fun today. Can we people can sponsor us and then we can all win the money at the end? There's Ooh, no money, it's just for... For charity, no. maybe. We might have to do it for charity. No. I'm not We're doing charity. it for... Fu- fuck off, I'm not We're doing it for charity. charity. I'm not we doing it. Pogs. I'm absolutely not doing it. Honestly, I'd rather not do it. I'd rather not do it than to be like, guys, come on, please help us get a lift from London Stansted to so-and-so because we're raising money for MS. Well, that's fuck what I'm going to say to people anyway because otherwise, the problem for us oh, is... Oh, no, I'm going to tell people Have you got a you... car big enough to fit us two in? I'm, I'm going <laughs> yeah, yeah. to tell people that you've got MS. Yeah, that's fine. All right, go on. Do, do I'm the not thing. doing it on pod, but don't, I will do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. No. Do it. No. Do it. I'll, look, do not, it. All, not all disabilities are visible. Oh, really? That's yeah. what you're going to go with. Yeah. But MS is very visible. Well, it can be. Mm. Yeah. Finn from Have a Word does an amazing MS impression. Yes, he did it uh, the other day. It's yeah. like, honestly. He's done it for his GCSE drama project. Oh, yeah, and they all like, applauded. That's how backward Wales yeah. is. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Well, I'll save it for when we do it. Yeah. Okay. The well, race across the world. If you guys are up for it, and, and we're up for that. it, guys, let us know in the comments if you're up for watching this content and which other podcast would you like to see? Yeah. So, right, should we do some uh, fucking horrible videos? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Right. Uh, I wanna, like, what are there we... any off, off the back that you want to see? Are there any you're curious about? <clears throat> to be fair, I might, I'll introduce you to Naked Martin. That, by the way, is what we call our wall of demonetization. Yeah, yeah. it looks like a serial killer's office. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's heavy, isn't it? Um, I'm familiar with Naked Martin because uh, mm-hmm. I had to follow him with the roast. Yes, exactly. Yes, you did. You had to follow <laughs> one of his videos, which was not an ideal position to be on a bill, I don't think. No, but it's um, all right. I think this is the cum butty. Actually, we'll start with that one. Ah, uh, cum butty. Is this cum butty? <laughs> Would you eat this butty, Freddy? No, it is no, still bread. It? No. Is it? Is it? Is it a butty? This one? I don't know what he's doing in this one. To be fair. Yeah, this is cum butty. This. I think it is. Know, so what's his I deal? I know a man who looks just like that man. <laughs> what? What, what, what do you mean? What's his deal? Like, does he just love? wanking and shitting and yeah basically pretty like, much it, you can hire him to do yeah. custom videos like the ones we had for our like a cameo roast. yeah essentially but like you know cameo. i don't think they have can i just cameo. say that the way he wanks freaks me out yeah, yeah it's weird isn't it everyone's got their own technique looks like i a, don't like that though it looks like he's um it looks like an ostrich is attacking his dick <laughs> <I'm> like rob <laughs> hull yeah. i read this is how rob hull had a wank in it no yeah. him you no yeah <laughs> There we go. Is that a fresh tattoo as well? A little bit of a yeah. He he, he gets fresh ink every now and again because actually now he's got a few other tattoos. Yeah, it's, uh, he's, o- he's only got, God may judge me. He's got, he's, got a, a, he's got a Fulham, Fulham tattoo is. now. Fulham tattoo. Yeah, he's, sure a, he's, he's also made up, he, he likes Fulham and Everton. I like uh, so he doesn't enjoy here. success. There we go. You say he's jizzing onto some. I mean, yeah, that is winning. It looks like cum that would taste awful as well. I, I can't it? believe it's not cum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, yeah. imagine Martin is eating a lot of pineapple. To be fair, this is his business. He's a professional, you know. Just straight in, straight in. Roll it up. Loves it. Go uh, ahead. As as someone who's uh, ate a lot of cum, uh, that doesn't bother me. <laughs> yeah, it's different for you. Yeah. I, I find yeah. it disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'd still think it was weird putting it on bread. Yeah, I think it's the texture of the bread that upsets Freddy. Yeah, it looks very dry. And not enough, not <laughs> well, it's not anymore. Look, yeah, he's yeah. jizzed it look up. At, look at the tip of his dick as well. Look yeah, how no, there's that still is. just a little bit. Oh yeah, should mop that up with that little crust. I'm sure there. he will. Yeah, he'll but dip, like a little gravy boat. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, there we go. So that's Naked Martin. He's a friend of the pod. Um, Seems like a nice guy. But like, though. Before we before we show you some more videos, is there anything that like because you two were fairly, I think, unshockable. Like, is there Rubble anything goths, that turns you? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, not yeah. really. That's I don't like. Um, uh, it's not going to make me be sick, mm-hmm. but do you know, like, puss and like a uh, pimp, like, yeah, oh, yeah. that type that. of shit is the, probably one of the only things that makes me go. Bruh. What about right. what about smeg? Um, but not like less like on the, <sighs> we've, we've got we've got well well here we go. See you know, stuff like this is is grim to me. Oh, God. Here we go. So this is a, a cow that here that's been. Oh! <laughs> yeah. 
See, this is a, this is another reason to not eat meat, isn't it? Yeah, that's what's in your burger. Right. Doesn't bother me at all. Oh, there's a second bit. That looks delicious. Does it like you won't drink shake? a milkshake, let alone this. No, I meant the skin. That's murder. It's, that um, yeah. oh. it's somewhat. But it's I'm a not. Lot. I'm not surprised you haven't oh, got geez. naked Martin shagging that it's hole. A... Oh, <laughs> you know what I mean? uh, Oh, it's when it gets down to the end and it starts getting lumpy. Yeah, yeah. very cottage cheese. I don't oh. like this in the office. Uh, See, that is like the best bit is that bit doesn't one even of the worst things for me. Just stab that as well. Um, yeah, it's it's, it's pr oh. I don't know what oh. it is. It's pretty brutal. Like when when Doctor Pimple Popper got massive and that, and it was a mm. proper TV show. I was like, what what enjoyment do people get out yeah. of this? It like. It's just there's something like satisfying about it. What like, about yeah. um, get it? So, Com like Smeg, like so. Smeg, Smeg's a tough. Smeg's one. grim, isn't it? it? Here's a classic there's about so it. So much. Space. She's on the wall, this lady. Honestly, it makes me so. This is a fucking trooper. This woman here. It makes me so unhappy knowing exactly how much is there and how little she wants to do it. Look how much she has to psych herself. She's up. like trying to trying to smile. Oh yeah, the that's smell. the worst bit. That's yeah. the worst bit. The, is... the worst bit's her face, isn't it? Yeah. Like, obviously not wanting. <laughs> oh no, she's she's oh, had she... a whiff. <laughs> There's just a moment where she's like, ah. Ugh. I love the like synth soundtrack that's been put <laughs> yeah. as well. Yeah. It's like Blade Runner, isn't it? <laughs> I feel like I'm watching Stranger Things. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, that's disgusting. That, you'll, you'll never eat poutine the same ever again. Have you tasted Smeg? No. 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 Me neither. no. Sound like something I had then, though. No, no it, I was just no, wondering no, like, what it tastes like. Not great, I'd imagine. But from the look of her face, it's not lovely, is it? What was uh, that, what was uh, the scent was it called? Smeg and Soldiers. Smeg and Soldiers is it called? Yeah, I like Smeg's Benedict personally. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. it does look a bit like Hollandaise. I mean, it's just, yeah, it's grim, isn't it? It's, it makes me more sad that she's like... Like, how long has this guy not washed his knob for I, I, I to get like this she, amount of smeg? She really doesn't want to be doing this. No, who does? No. But, you know, no one wants but to do some, a job. There might be someone who does want to do it, because there's all this going on out there. Yeah. But she yeah. really looks like she's not enjoying herself. Yeah, and that's no. Show us some new ones. All right, sad, I'll find a couple of new ones. Although, like, to be fair, I do want to show one that we uh, we showed yesterday. Um, there's one in particular that I think is. Oh, this is funny. This. Were you possessed or what? She cut someone's dick off there or something. To cut yeah. off your boy uh -huh. boyfriend private parts. Eh? Your boyfriend private parts. My friend, will you, will you shut up and ask your question? It's quite a fat little cock as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, What's the backstory here? Yeah? Cradling it. <laughs> you are heartless. Oh shit! My brother, wonder shall never end. Oh no! The guy yeah. with this you for picture, he come out. Although everyone's just he crowding around to get a picture, no one's offering him medical attention. He looks pretty, say, pretty say, chill as well. I know that's what's so mad, isn't it? Isn't it? He's just like he must be in shock. Good yeah. in Cause he's just like chilling. You know, I like the bit at the beginning where he goes, "Why have you cut off your boyfriend's private parts?" That's my favorite bit. Any man just grab the thing, use knife, gun cut and force. What's he done? Though? Case be said, the man oh, that is victim team. blaming Woody, right there. Woody. That is classic <laughs> victim blaming. Classic Woody. Dean Coglin. Yes. What's he done? What was he wearing at the time? Yeah. I don't. I don't think it really matters, to be honest with you. Uh, like what he what he does. Remember when uh, someone was it Sharon Osbourne was laughing about someone cutting the dick off and throwing it in a in a, a garbage disposal? Yeah. On like one of them like loose women style things yeah. in America and she was like openly laughing about like oh imagine it flopping about in the garbage disposal and everyone was like imagine if that was a, a bunch of fellas going yeah they cut someone's fanny off and threw well, it, in a, cut it in, out in a blender off. well yeah. yeah and then there's laughing about it and yeah. all that they were like it's a bit fucked up to be like yeah. fucking yeah. laughing I mean that'd be our podcast it. yeah, 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 yeah to be fair if we had that video we would show it yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> here's a little warning why you shouldn't fall asleep at a zoo uh, who falls asleep at a oh, zoo oh no Oh no. Oh, that finger no. is coming right uh, off in it. Little chimp here, little chimp next to it. There we go. Uh, oh. 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 It's <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I mean, I is think. Is he this... fucking the crack in between? He's his... fucking the crack in his fingers. Yeah. He's fucking the crack in his fingers. So, I mean, like, he right. looks like he's going to bite it, so but he's just checking know. out whether he can shag it. To be fair. He looks like he should be on naked attraction. That this is the best thing that could have ever happened to him in yeah. that situation. Oh, look at him, he's a orangutan as well. Yeah. Isn't he? Do you know what I ate though? This is this has to be the second time this happened. 
because he fell asleep the first time and woke up with cum in his palm. And then the second time he's like, well, I've got to film it and see what was happening. <laughs> so now he's actively going, go on, put your dick There's in There's a mystery that needs solving. Like when, like when, you, uh, like when you, you, you have one of those things that records you talking in the sleep. Yeah, it's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to see what's actually so going on. Like, so now he's filming that going, well, I guess we both like this now. Like, what's that? Yeah. Who's filming I imagine it? he's got he's got to keep coming up with excuses to fall asleep. That's it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like, oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Just, just setting the groundwork in. Feeling in the a bit morning. sleepy, just going to spit in my palm. I, I, I tell you what, lads, I've had a dreadful night's sleep. Yeah. If yeah. I kip off at any point, just leave me. Yeah, just yeah. leave, just me, just leave me too. Uh, right, well, here's a, here's another little fun one of, uh, again, this. Uh, hold on, I just need to get to the point. Here we go. It's in one sec. Here we go. Oh. Jesus. Ooh. Here we go. This is a little acrobatic, this one. Nah, fam. God. In the fanny? Nah, nah, nah. In the nah, fanny? Yeah, it's rolling it through the fanny. So, so do you want so to describe just, what's happening, Freddy? Just pause it. <laughs> so it's a woman upside down with honestly like chicken korma shit. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a real it's, bad situation. It's real yeah. yellowy. And yeah. she's like, she's either like oiled or wet Looks or like she's something. got fucking soother creme all over the fanny. Yeah. Yeah. I've heard it's just falling down into her mouth. Well, like yeah. you would want some antiseptic. Mm. And like, yeah, she's uh, she's upside down lying so that it gradually rolls down in sort of a shit waterfall. Yeah, it is. Honestly, mouth. it's like a garden centre waterfall of shit. <laughs> just down your garden. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Oh, Fuck that's me, man. That. That's weak. Yeah, and she looks a bit like Gerard Way. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know who that is. Oh, from My Chemical Romance. Oh, that leads. She's got, she's got a goth vibe about her, hasn't she? Who's weirdly Joe Rogan's cousin? What? What? Gerard Way and Joe Rogan are cousins. That is a mad family. I know. What's the what? Christmas like with I them? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, it's probably it's probably he's... Just, Joe Rogan turns up. Are you okay, Gerard? <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> yeah. Their song. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm, I'm not. I'm not okay. Yeah. It's, one, it's one of their songs. Don't worry about it. I know what the songs from My Chemical Romance are. How dare you? It's uh, it's wild, that isn't it? I like that one started off as a bit of a tease. Well, as well. Like, what happens is sometimes, Ooh. quite often, we get sent in videos where like they're designed to prank people. That's the WhatsApp group thing. Exactly. You go, watch so, this like, oh, watch like, this! Oh, with sexy lady, that it cuts to something horrible. Yeah. If you're sending us those, can you just cut off the bit at the start? We want the horrible yeah, no, stuff. No, like, we don't give a shit about that. Yeah. Also, like uh, a bit, so, like we get sent one sometimes where there's like uh, you know it'll be something horrible and it cuts to like a thing of being like are oh you, it's funny you know we don't need that. are you we guys fans of poo? Not fans of poo. Can you show them the laxative one? Oh god, yeah, this the is one of my favourites. Ones, yeah, it's one of my favourite ones. All right, give me a sec. I've just got to find it. Uh, it oh, here we go. So this is this is a, a prank gone either really wrong or really right, it? depending Let's on your. I'm so excited to, it. to have one. I'm a bit scared to do this. So he's spiking oh, a coffee with a full oh, bottle shit. of Dulcolax. Yeah. Oh shit. And that's his. It's his stepdad. That's I giving it to. Right. No, you feel Know that. Oh, Jack, what have you done? You're not telling him. Oh, Jack, no. come with me now. Jack! They're coming! The shit all up the oh, stairs. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, no. This is what making Martin's gaff looks like. What? Please, I'm sorry. I don't know. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't come in there, Nick. Oh. He's in the bath just oh, full of shit. Oh, that stinks. It's everywhere, Jack. That is hilarious. What? Look at his face. <laughs> he's, he's, he's... What? Nick, I can't come in. It stinks. Please, please, please. I don't know what's happening. I can't hold it. It's just coming out of me, Jess. Please. Nick, that stinks. Oh, my God. I know, it's please. all over the bottles. Please. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's so oh. sly, Aaron. He's coming out. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sly on that fellow. Oh, right? Just well, poor guy. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Bless so him. He's so funny. Oh, like, bless him. Hey. <laughs> like, you know that kid got twatted yeah. after this. Oh, I'll put laxatives in your ass coffee earlier. What? Oh, yeah. no. This is coming out of hey. Jack. Jack. Why would you do that, Jack? <laughs> Oh, he's cleaning that up, isn't he? Look at that little paw. I know, it's like the Titanic, isn't it? Nick, please, don't make that stick. Please, please, please. Oh, it's coming out. Oh, Nick. It's like water. It's like water. The mischief made. You can tidy it up. 
You're, he's, uh, uh, he's tidying all up, he's, isn't he? Uh, he's like Walter. <laughs> I love it. the like heart painted on the stairs, just covered yeah. in shit. I know, yeah. I know. Like for me, I don't know what it is. It's the bottles of shampoo that gross me out the Roof most. Yeah. 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 I don't know how he's managed to shit on every single step. Like he's <laughs> dribbling just out of him. Out yeah. It's just yeah. a constant well, stream that's, as that's he runs. I mean. He must have literally just shat water yeah. Yeah. and yeah. then ran upstairs. Oh, no. And yeah. he's, it's not like he's shitting it. It's just happening. At what it's point? Like there's no control over it. Oh, oh, it's just oh, dribbling oh, out oh, of him. At what point was he when sat on the toilet when I need to move to the bath here? Yeah. Yeah, well, no, he's, like, like, he's only vessel. been at the toilet quickly. He's run in there, gone toilet and gone, nah, it's not going to do it, and jumped into the bath because there's only a little splatter on the toilet. Yeah. You know, so he's clearly gone, that's not enough. Yeah, I need to be yeah, in the bath. Yeah. I need to be completely just flying out. Because, <laughs> like, he clearly was trying to hold on and there was a big load that came out backwards yeah, in the shower. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So if you are going to spike someone with laxatives, it's not a whole bottle. Yeah, it's a roof so that what one. Is it, what does it do? Just completely gets rid of everything out your bowel? Well, yeah. like, what dog lax is meant to do is you're meant to have a little bit of the bottle. Right. And it gently helps you have a poo if you're constipated. Okay. Yeah. It just gently gets it moving again. Mm. You're not meant to have a bottle at a time. Okay. Like the whole bottle fucks you up. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah. fucking asshole falls off. Yeah. Should we watch one more? All right. So, uh, let me have just... you, would you have an enema? Have you had an enema? I haven't had an enema. No. Actually. What's What's the purpose to clean my asshole out? Yeah. It cleans it, goes all I don't, I don't think it actually does anything, though. I think it's probably bollocks. Yeah. Does oh, it feel it, yeah. good? Yeah. I don't know. If it felt Maybe. good, I'd have a go. I'd imagine it felt all right. Yeah. Um, so I don't actually know what any of these videos are, so give me two seconds. You carry on talking. No, 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 by all look. means. Um, um, how much is an enema? <laughs> I don't know. I reckon you Never could probably one. get one quite cheap. You reckon? Yeah, they're, they're, they're like quite a, a popular If it's thing, any more it? than like, 40 quid, yeah. then in my head, I'm like, I could have got a massage for that. Could just buy a, a line of hose and a, and a funnel, <laughs> innit? Do it yourself. <laughs> If you want, yeah, yeah, at the garden like centre, just buy a fucking uh, beer thing, innit? What's the a chug thing? Yeah, but the what I've... are they called? Yeah, like a a beer hose thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, one of them would do. There's you. a machine though, like when you go for a fancy one, and you can see like your nuggets of poo floating past in the machine, and they all look at it like it's framed oh, wow. and lit up, and like oh, who would like put it? something that disgusting in a frame? That's awful. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I mean, just from the still on this, this looks. Can you guess what's going to happen? This is a this is a a woman with a iron yeah. and a man who's looking naked, looking at his own cock. He looks like a Lib Dem councillor. This guy, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. you know yeah. what I mean? Like local yeah, yeah, government yeah. vibes about him. Nick yeah. Smeg. <laughs> <laughs> nice. uh, but I think this guy's going to keep his promises. Oh, <laughs> oh take that, two thousand and five politics. Political. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, it's going to go. Into oh, a steam. Oh, yeah. oh, he's steaming his dick. The steam's Is enough. No, she's not. Yeah. She's not. She's not. She's not ironing his cock. Oh, oh my oh. god, she's ironing his it cock. It cuts off too quickly, that doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. If I, anyone's got more of the cock ironing, I want to see like his to... balls smooth as anything. Fucking wily coyote when it's come off a fucking cliff. Yeah. yeah. Just wrinkle iron, free. Yeah. 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 Yeah, oh, uh, man. Well, that was I, tough. That I want to show you one more. This one I really enjoyed, just because like sometimes like some justice happens in the world. Yeah. Oh, I've seen this a bear, yeah, it's a bear with a wheelbarrow at the circus. Yeah. I wonder what's going to happen here. Yeah. Yeah, the, I know. The bear <laughs> goes, do you know what, mate? You can fuck off, lad. Go on. Yeah, go on, bear. <laughs> I love how the guy just gives him one kick. And he's like, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Yeah. No, you're on your own there. Yeah, yeah. mate. And like, I made up that happened. Yeah. yeah. Like, if you've got a bear in a circus, I hope it fucks you up. Mm. You know, like, the bear didn't want to be there. It's not his fault. He's a bear. Did yeah. you see that one you can't getting. dominate the, a bear. The, the lion. <laughs> no matter how much they ask on OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you see the lion biting that fella's finger off? Yeah, we had that as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we had that, that lasted one. too long for. If, if that was my finger. Yeah. It was too long for it coming off. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? I would have if you bit it, pulled it off. Sound, but he's there for like fucking a good minute. Just and going, then it just oh goes. No. And you, you yeah. see the tendon. <clears> out yeah, it's, 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 it's honestly like the lion knows that that guy's in pain and is enjoying it. Yeah. 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 It's well, that that's level a of cast, sadistic. Isn't it? that's yeah. A cast exactly. Too. Yeah. It's a fucking wild animal. Yeah. You know. And also, he he deserved it though, just for he needed that time to contemplate. Yes. Have you done the? Yeah. Have you done the the tree in the face one? No, I don't know if tree I have. Tree in the face. And no. the guy's cutting the, the the tree with like a chainsaw. Oh, I have seen that. And I saw it on the internet the other day. And a big log smashes yeah, him in the yeah, face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. But there's, the there's that and then there's the after of, of it. 
where you see the damage of it. Yeah. That's oh, probably one of the worst things bad. I've seen because his face is just smashed in. I haven't he, seen I, the afters, actually. And he's just going, uh, his like, tongue's hanging uh, out and they're just filming him going, you fucked up here, mate. And yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Hey, stop filming oh, me. Oh, here we go. Here's, here's a brilliant bit of like um, of, of the same sort of justice from a cunt getting his comeuppance. Like, I very much enjoyed this one. This oh. is horrible. The start Wait, this is thing. a guy slapping a donkey. Yeah, it's fucking horrible. Like, it really pisses me off. This he's being like he's really being a yeah, proper cunt. Donkeys can be right little cunts when they want to be though. Like, like, like that all right, but this donkey fight, didn't right. deserve it. Here we go. Here's right. Yeah. Listen to the scream. Wow, that donkey's got hold of his leg yeah. and he's ragging him around in a circle. Yeah, good. Yeah. Like, go on, donkey. But you know what's mad? That was harder for me to watch than anything else. Me too, as well. Like the, don weird, the donkey getting yeah. slapped upsets yeah, yeah, yeah. me more than anything else. Because all them other people are willing. Well, maybe exactly. not the smart woman. No, but, but she's she's you know she's consented. Yeah, yeah. You know, it might be for money, but she has yeah. at least. That Whereas that donkey's just chilling, man. I know. He's like, just like kicking off. the fuck out of it. So yeah, I was yeah. well glad when he ragged him about. Like yeah. fuck that guy. Well, thank you for coming yeah. on, guys, and watching disgusting videos. Oh man, it's been loads of fun. Is there anything that you guys want to plug? Do you have like a podcast of your own or something? Just the one little one, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Maltai Club. Go check it out. Check it out. We have uh, live shows every month as well. Next one's August tenth, but that one sold out, so unlucky. Um, <laughs> oh, the one with uh, like the Kill Tony thing. Yeah, where... it's like a talent show now. Yeah, oh, yeah. so it's it's fun. Oh, nice, so cool. good. Liverpool's we, um, got talent. Nice, nice, yeah, nice. so good. So they're every month. So check them out. But mainly just go check the podcast out on that man. Yeah, yeah it's cracking. Like nice on it. Yeah, us, no fun. worries. It's always a pleasure. It's been great. It's yeah. been great, and hopefully yeah. we'll be able to the uh, race across yeah. the country. Thing. Well, we'll that'll be to the big list of ideas we'll never get round to. Yeah, we've got one of them as well. That will be a good one. Not that would be good. It would be pretty fun but uh yeah thanks for watching if you've enjoyed it get on our patreon it's three quid you get loads of shit and uh we won't it's think you're a cunt patreon.com <laughs> forward slash dead men talk pod give us three quid you big prick also if you want uh to send in a video it's 07520 we've also on got whatsapp only whatsapp we've also got our own live show on august the 17th Come uh, to that, to the frog that and out. bucket in it's manchester roasts and that loads of fun yeah is that that's, everything that's it all right fuck off <laughs> <Bye>. see ya <laughs>